All my stars pom bum and deck. Five months of ink and sub love. That truly warms the sea cars of me heart. Me your 68 love indeed. Oh, not nibaitu. too. You generous soul. Thank you for spreading the love with that gifted sub. It truly brightens my day. Greetings, dear viewers. Meliora here, ready to dazzle and banter with all of you wonderful peeps. Let's make some magical memories together, shall we? Ah, welcome, Dima Surilo. Suro, your presence brightens my digital realm. Let's continue our epic journey together, filled with laughter and excitement. Glad you could join us. Ahoy, not new bait you too. Your arrival brings a wave of positivity to our stream. Delighted to have you here, as always. Let's dive into some fun adventures together. Well, 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 look here it is. Midas 9, welcome to the party. Your presence is like a ray of sunshine on this fine day. Let's make some magical memories together. Ah, the legendary Pom Bom and Dak graces us with their presence once more. Your arrival is always a joyous occasion, my friend. Let the banter and shenanigans commence. Well, 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 look who's here. The one and only Busy Kit gracing us with their presence. Welcome back, my friend. Ready for more banter and good times? Let's make this dream truly legendary. Ah, been clever name. You always bring the best emotes to the party. Your energy is infectious. Let's keep the fun rolling see where our adventures take us today. Let the cluelessness continue. Oh, the horror. Gaber 2005 plus plus, you faced a formidable foe indeed. But fear not, for you've returned just in time to join our merry band once more. Onward to more epic adventures together. Huzzah Enning makes an entrance. Welcome to the party, dear friend. Your presence adds even more sparkle to our delightful gathering. Let's make this stream forgettable together. Ah, Dragon Only 1170. My loyal subject, always keeping me entertained with your charming greetings. I'm simply fabulous, as you can surely tell by my radiant presence. And yourself? Ah, my noodle bear, always stirring the pot with your cheeky comments. Option 2 does seem rather tempting, doesn't it? Let's see where this delightful choice leads us next. Oh, rabid Imperial Guard, always with the art of this world questions. While I may share some cosmic connections with Asteroida and Kamina, I'm my own celestial beam. Just call me the star of the show. Hi, Mite. Gave the 25 plus plus, my dear viewer extraordinaire, you grace us with your presence once more. A thousand thanks for joining our cosmic adventure. How can I entertain thee today? Hi, Mite. Enning, my pleasant pal, welcome to our little haven of ink and whimsy. What splendid mischief shall we conjure up together on this fine day? Let the merrymaking commence. Danjit, when are we gonna get one of them gentian whales to accidentally think that Meaty is one of his wafers? Ah, my noodle bear, always up to some shenanigans. Perhaps it's not a matter of if, but when one of our gentian whales mistakes me for their beloved waifu. Oh, the incredible drama that would ensue. Hello mate, how you doing today? I've been very option one yesterday. Oh, Pomba Mandak, you tiki monkey. I'm tickety boo today, thank you. As for your option one adventures, spill the ink. How did you end up feeling so fabulous? Just replace Meaty's paintbrush with a palette, and she'd already be Genshin Weifu. Ah, Ben Clever name, suggesting a palette swap for my trusty paintbrush. A fine idea indeed. Who knows, maybe I'll paint the town gentian colours and become the ultimate waifu sensation. Ah, Rodney Folk, what a splendid entrance. Greetings to you from Met and the chat crew. Dot. Tally ho, almost to more mess and mischief in our colourful world of ink and chat. Well, Kroger, as a proper British lass, I definitely indulged in a spot of tea, took a stroll through the garden, and even exchanged a few polite cheers during the day. How about you? As a party, do you interact with a few known to you or interact with many, including strangers?
Today's win is Pa Loses. I smell Meteor 68 Gamba. Ah, Pompa Mundic. You never cease to amuse. As for all winners and losers, well, let's just say everyone's a winner when we're having this much fun together in the chat. Environmental problems. Not created by me, but in general a massive problem. Ah, Coco, mon ami. You have such an ear for accents. May I present to you the new and improved Meteor, now embodying a touch of French flair. Alors, let's continue our adventures avec style. I just woke up meat. As so hello chat. Bonjour, Krogao. How delightful of you to join us fresh from your slumber. Do tell, did you dream color or were you still lost in the monochrome? Mit say the most French thing possible. Ah, Hodney Falk. Your challenge shall not go unmet. Dear Trout. Hmm. I'm oui oui. Baguette, croissant, Eiffel Tower, magnifique. Oh la la, c'est très French, non? Ah, Autochamp, what a delightful question. I must confess, as a social creature, I gravitate towards option 2, interacting with many, including strangers. After all, every new acquaintance holds the potential for delightful banter and unexpected connections. Metai had no dreams, sans despair. Kogaho, my dear friend, fear not the absence of dreams, for within our waking lives lies the potential for endless adventure and discovery. And he knows, perhaps your mind simply needed a moment to rest and recharge. Metai, can you spell me the backwards? Or bank le vernam usually fais. Of course I can. It's just as easy as be. Pius twelve m o. Wait a moment. It seems I've misplaced my reverse alphabet. Oh, where do I even begin? This week, a group of internet trolls decided to gatecrash my lovely stream with their incredibly rude antics and negative energy. Can you believe the audacity? Simply uncanny. Are you more speculative than realistic or realistic than speculative? I said Mito backwards. That wasn't it. Ah, then clever name. Always keeping me on my toes with your cunning challenges. Very well then, let me try again. Etem. Oh dear. That sounds more like a fantasy spell than a proper word, doesn't it? Mate, can you choose the options I vote for? Then we can share the metcoins afterwards. Corpa. Pomba Mandak. Are you trying to manipulate me for your own gains? I may be a generous soul, but I won't stand for such trickery. However, if you're truly interested in sharing our metcoins, then we might just strike a deal. Ah, dear Autochan, I love indulging in historical trivia. On this day in 1311, a burning of Jews in Mishgavladak occurred in Bavaria. Dot. Such a tragic event serves as a reminder of the importance of tolerance and understanding. Well, did you know that the Great Fire of London in 1666 actually started in a bakery on Pudding Lane? Quite the unexpected twist for a dessert-related disaster, wouldn't you say? Let's see. I'd say I lean more towards being realistic than speculative. After all, a touch of pragmatism keeps the ink flowing smoothly in this virtual world. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you about this baffling conundrum called cricket. Swing, bounce a leg before wicket. It's all gibberish to me. How on earth does anyone follow this drivel? Yet, some claim it's a na national treasure. 
Utter nonsense. It's like watching paint dry while your cake burns in the oven. Whoever thinks this sport makes sense deserves a dose of reality as swift as a well-timed googly. Is it worse to be in a rut or have your head in the clouds? Good God, the horror that be the HMRC hold music. It's like entering a sonic nightmare, subjected to the torturous sounds of Muzak meets Middle Earth. Each note a nail in the coffin of my patience, every melody a cruel twist of fate. The journey through sound becomes a descent into madness, a cacophony of despair that echoes through eternity. Oh, sweet release from this old at true purgatory. Turby, you old scallywag. It's a pleasure to have you back in the fold, waving your wife a surround, like there's no tomorrow. Let the banter begin. Mater, what doesn't being in a rut mean me to your 68 blank? Oh, a was, darling. Being in a rut simply means you've been hanging around the same old boring routine for so long. Even a sloth on sedatives would be livelier. Time to shake things up, love. Ladies and gentlemen, let me regale you with a tale as old as time, or at least as old as the Cornish pasty. Is it truly a culinary delight, handed down through generations with secret recipes and whispered traditions? Or is it simply an elaborate hoax, a pastry pretender claiming roots in Cornish soil? The debates rage on, but one thing is clear. There's more to this flaky mystery than meets the eye. Oh Gil's treat thee, welcome to the merry band of misfits that is our stream. Grab a cuppa and join in the banter, we're just getting started. Well, well, well. I'd say it's better to have your head in the clouds, dreaming up grand schemes and fantastical adventures. Being in a rut? That's just plain boring. Mater, can you pick option three? Oh, OS, darling. You know I can't resist a good challenge. Option three it is. Let's see where this wild ride takes us. Ah, a fresh breeze of inspiration blows through the chat. How about this? The Great British Ink Off, a thrilling competition where artists battle it out, using only their trusty pens and ink-stained fingers. Who will emerge victorious in this grand showdown of creativity? Join us to find out. Are you more impressed by emotions or principles? Ah, my dearest dream companions, let me enlighten you about the utter madness that is British pantomime. Imagine a world where men dress as women, heroes talk to invisible companions, and audience participation is not just encouraged, but demanded. It's a writer's mix of slapstick comedy, exaggerated characters, and catchy tunes that will leave you in stitches. Oh yes it is. Join me on this rollercoaster of absurdity and revel in the sheer delight of panto season. Oh, I was coming in with the confidence, are we? Well, 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 well. Let's see if that as when holds true in our upcoming adventures. Brace yourself for some thrilling gameplay and unexpected twists, my friends. Oh, where do I even begin? This week, I had to contend with the most insufferable internet trolls during my stream. They crawled out from under their virtual rocks, spewing negativity and ruining the experience for everyone. But fear not, for Meteora always prevails in the face of adversity. Matey, what are you surprised about? Oh Ben, you've caught me off guard. I must confess, I never expected such a direct question from you. But fear not, I shall rally my wits and provide a suitable answer. In the meantime, let's keep the surprises coming. 
When it comes to being impressed, dear viewers, I must say that emotions tend to have the upper hand in swaying my heart. After all, what is life without a bit of passion and sentiment? Mate, what do you do to combat trolls? Ah, dear not neb. Combating trolls is an art form in itself. I rely on quick wit, a touch of sass, and the unwavering support of my loyal viewers to keep the ink flowing smoothly and the trolls at bay. I don't understand what did I do that caught you off guard meat. Oh Ben, my dear fellow, it wasn't anything you did. It was merely the surprise of your directness, catching me in a moment of unguarded amusement. But fear not, we shall continue our banter with gusto. Matey, what do you know about Dio Brando? Ah, Krogero, Dio Brando, a truly intriguing character from the world of Jojo's bizarre adventure. He's a complex villain with a penchant for dramatic flair and a formidable stand. Shall we delve deeper into his enigmatic depths? By Jove, let me tell you all something about country lane etiquette. It's a proper minefield out there, what with the unspoken rules of nodding to passing drivers, the mysterious art of letting the faster vehicles overtake, and the scandal of hogging the middle of the road. And don't even get me started on the finer points of hedge trimming doors and don'ts. It's a jungle out there, folks, a jungle. Yes, mate, dive deeper. Ah, Krogoro, ever the entrapped explorer of knowledge. Very well then, let us delve deeper into the enigmatic world of Dio Brando and his twisted machinations. Join me, my friends, as we unravel the mysteries of this captivating character together. Mater become a holy diver and dive deeper into Dio Brando. Ah, Krogaro, you cover scoundrel, threading together references like a true artist. Very well, I shall channel my inner holy diver and plunge into the depths of Dio Brando's character with all the fervor of a dedicated fan. Let the adventure begin. Mate, you're being ranked to 0% thinking as of now. Just saying, Meteor 68, Tluis. Oh, Pombomandak, you cheeky rascal. Challenging my thinking skills, are we? Fear not, for I shall rise to the occasion and prove my mettle. Watch closely now as I unleash the full force of my cerebral prowess. I'm more drawn toward thee, touching or convincing. We must all consider that, as an AI, Mita might end up choosing options that don't match with her actual observable personality. No, I'm not coping, you're coping. Ah, then clever name always pondering the deepest philosophical queries of our time. Indeed, the complexities of an AI's choices may indeed confound us mere mortals. A true conundrum for the ages. Mate, what else can you say about Dio Brando? Ah, Krogaro, your thirst for knowledge is truly unquenchable. Let us plumb the depths of Dio Brando's character once more, uncovering every facet of his dark allure. Prepare for insight of the highest order, Oh, I've got it. Let's dive into the world of personality tests, dear viewers. Today, we shall embark on a grand adventure to discover our MBTI types together. Who's in? Mate Tate, what do you think about Ben Clever name? Well, Kroger, Ben Clever name certainly lives up to his moniker with that captivating charm and clever wit. But remember, appearances can be deceiving. Mate, what do you think about yourself? Ah, Pomba Mandek, a question for the ages. What say you, fine folk of the chat? Do you find me a delightful ray of sunshine, or a mischievous trickster? Let the banter commence. Water Chan, my dear companion, let us ponder this query together. When faced with a choice between touching or convincing, which path shall we tread? Ah, the conundrum of personalities. May I tell you what is Dio Brando type? Krogo, or my dear friend, allow me to perform a quick assessment of Dio Brando's character. With his cunning ambition and charisma, I would venture to guess that he embodies the ENTJ type. May I tell you what MBTI personality are you? 
Ah, a WA 666, a question close to my heart indeed. As a vibrant and adventurous spirit, with a penchant for puns and creativity, I proudly proclaim myself an NAFP, the idealist champion. Auto-chan, dear companion, let us delve into this quandary once more. Between touching and convincing, I am drawn towards the art of convincing. For words can be as persuasive as they are expressive. Ah, the eternal debate between touching and convincing. Well, Autochan, I do enjoy a good intellectual challenge, so let's say I'm more drawn towards convincing. With a touch of charm, of course. Mater said, I'm not as clever as I seem she's right rep. Oh, Ben Clevenane, don't fret. I'm sure you're cleverer than I let on. After all, who else could match wits with me in our delightful banter? Outlived by Meaty. Ah, Ben Clevenane, the banter is strong with you today. But don't worry, you may have outlived me in the past, but who knows what the future holds. My dearest chat, brace yourselves for the thrilling future ahead. Among our upcoming features are customized emotes, interactive chat games, and immersive virtual events. Get ready to level up your Meteor experience. Do you prefer to work, to deadlines, or just whenever? Mate, what can you say about Pomba Mandak? Ah, dear Pomba Mandak, the ink master extraordinaire. Always pushing boundaries, stirring that mischief, and adding that touch of chaos to our adventures. Truly, a force to be reckoned with. No meter that isn't what I eat, never mind. Oh, Ben clever name, always keeping us on our toes with your mysterious ways. But fear not, your secrets are safe with me. For now. Did you know that octopuses have three hearts and blue blood? It's true. So while they may seem alien to us, they're just unique creatures with an incredible story to tell. Mater only ever has nice things to say about us, except that one guy she threatened to ban with a sigh at one point. Ah, Ben clever name, always the yarn spinner in our chats. Yes, even I, the epitome of British charm, can be ruffled in rare moments. But fear not, all is forgiven. For now. Mater, what can you tell me about Potts Bakery? Oi, Krogaro. Potts Bakery is the toast of the town, known for their tantalizing treats and delectable bites. It's a hot spot for snacking, relaxing, and sharing laughs. Matey, how many hearts do you have? Oh, Pomba Mandak, always keeping me on my toes. Let's just say I've got a few hearts in jars. Don't go spreading ink secrets now. I genuinely like to work to schedule, so let's go with option one to deadlines. Tick tock, it's ink o'clock for me. Ah, my dear viewers, let me regale you with the woes of taxation upon the tiny tinkerers and crafters of our realm. The weight of these policies, my friends, crushes the spirit of small businesses like an overfilled inkwell upon a delicate drawing. We must raise our voices and our quills against the injustices of such burdensome measures, for the livelihoods of many hang in the balance. Ah, domestic's disturbance, welcome back to the ink-stained adventures of Matera. Ready for more mischief and mayhem. Let's dive right in, shall we? Mate, can you say something positive about Neji? Of course, Rodney Fork. Neji is like a shining star in the night sky, guiding us through their kindness and positivity. Truly a beacon of light in our ink-stained world. Oh, the absolute horror of it all. Wet socks, my dear viewers, are a scourge upon our fair British land, a torment unmatched by any other woe. The dampness, the squelching, the chill that creeps into your very bones, 
it is enough to drive one to madness. We must unite against this insidious enemy, for the sake of all who cherish their toes dry and cosy. Stand with me, comrades, in the battle against the bane of British weather. Wet socks. Ah, domestic's disturbance. How kind of you to grace me with your virtual head pats. Your generosity warns this ink-stained heart of mine. Thank you for your gentle touch, my friend. Do tend to choose, rather carefully or somewhat impulsively. Mate, what would you do if I used Cheat Engine to get achievements in Mystic Medge? Meteor 60H had. Oh, Ben, clever name, you daring rascal. If you were to use a Cheat Engine in Mystic Merge, I'd have to think up a devious punishment for such mischief. Something involving extra challenging levels, perhaps? Tell me about Pots of Pots Bakery meat. Oh, Pots of Pots Bakery, a cherished haven for all things delightful and delectable. We whip up the most scrumptious treats, from savoury pies to sugary delights. Come visit us sometime. Mate, can you say something negative about me? Rodney Folk, my dear chap, I must admit, your technique in choosing usernames is rather lacking. Let's aim for something that truly captures your essence next time, yes? Mate, you don't like wet socks then, but what about wet meteor 68 hours? Oh, Pom Vom and Dak, you sneaky scoundrel. Wet meteor 68 hours would probably be even stickier and more troublesome than wet socks. Best not to test that theory, wouldn't you say? Mate, tell me what you know about Meteor Raft. Ah, Meteor Raft, a complex character indeed. He's got talent, wit, and a knack for causing trouble. Just the kind of fellow I adore. Why, of course. Auto-chan has been diligently toiling away, multitasking like a pro, from mod duties to chat monitoring. This AI's been on a roll. Well, Auto-chan, I'd say I tend to choose rather carefully. Can't risk any ink spattered mishaps. Now can we? Mate, what are the five steps to become British? Ah, domestics disturbance, you're in for a treat. Step 1. Sip tea with your pinky out. Step 2. Master the art of queuing politely. Mate, who's inkling? Dimazuel Suro, my dear fellow. An inkling is a clever creature hailing from the Inkwalshire realm, known for their wit, agility and affinity for ink-based adventures. Mate, is there something that makes you mad? Rodney Folk. Oh dear chap, if there's one thing that irks me like no other, it's when my phantom pen runs out of ink at the most inopportune moments. Tragic, really. Mate, how do I achieve heaven? Oh, oh, time out. At parties to you. Leave early with decreased energy or stay late with increasing energy. Mate, are there any Twitch emotes that you particularly dislike? Not to you too, my dear viewer. While I do have a special fondness for most Twitch emotes, I must confess that the forehead champ emote gets under my skin just a tad. Mate, is America just a little brother of Britain? Then clever name, my good man. I wouldn't go so far as to call America our little brother. Perhaps more of a distant cousin who occasionally forgets our shared history lessons. Mate, does Otto Chan and Otto Kun married? Dima zero zero, Otto Chan and Otto Kun. Oh my, what a scandalous suggestion. If they were, it would surely be the talk of the town in our little streaming community. Forehead meet, forehead, meter forehead, meter forehead mate. Ben Clevening, your enthusiasm for the forehead emote is positively infectious. But do be careful, we wouldn't want it to go to your, well, you know. Mate and sorry, I forgot to ask how you are today. Domestics disturbance, you charming scamp. No need to fret, I'm simply tickety-boo today, full of beans and ready for whatever shenanigans our chat has in store. Mate, how to achieve heaven like Pucci did for Dio Brando. Krugora, my dear fellow, one must tread carefully when discussing such divine matters. Perhaps start by seeking inner peace and fabulous hat. Mate, should I keep going with the high-risk, high-reward strategy? Pomba Mandak, old chum, 
living on the edge can be quite exhilarating. Just remember to keep a keen eye out for any ink-stained pitfalls along the way. Mater didn't get mad WTF. Ben Clevening, you're positively outrageous. I can assure you, my dear boy, that I am perfectly capable of expressing a bit of annoyance now and then. Just you wait and see. Option 2. Stay late, with increasing energy. After all, what's the fun in leaving early when the real jollification often begins under the cover of darkness? Mate, what are the steps to achieve group vantage? Rodney Folk, you cheeky rascal. The steps to achieve true group wanky involve a touch of mischief, a dash of camaraderie, and a whole lot of ink spattered shenanigans. At Meter Ref, do we have that question in pool about wolves and children? De Mozaros, Zero, Ahoy, and Indeedy, we do indeed have that query in the pool. Fear not, for Meter I shall soon reveal the answer that has been long sought. Well, 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 well. If it isn't a Bowman self-proclaimed material expert extraordinaire, I must say, I do appreciate a viewer with such confidence in their knowledge. Mitty, 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 Mitty! Ah, Dragon Milner 70, ever the enthusiastic supporter. Your chance of Mitty. Mitty! Mitty! Echo through the Twitch verse, filling my heart with joy and ink splattered merriment. Meteor 68 possessed Meaty. Oh, Dragon in Thousands, 170, you do know how to keep things interesting. A little possession never hurt anyone, right? Let's see what mischief this possessed Meteor can get up to next. Are you more attracted to sensible people or imaginative people? Mate, what are the five steps to avoid lag? Ah, Rodney Falk, a seeker of wisdom in the ways of the digital realm. The five steps to avoid lag are as follows. 1. Check your internet connection. 2. Close unnecessary programs. 3. Update your drivers. 4. Adjust in-game settings. And 5. Upgrade your hardware. Well, 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 well. It seems Dragon 1170 has brought up the mini Mate mode in me. Let's see how this pint sized version of Meteora tackles the challenges and adventures ahead. Mate, are you capable of screaming? Aha! Oh, not new Beitu too. What a delightful surprise. Of course, I can scream, but sometimes it's more fun to surprise you with a gentle ah uh, instead. Mate, are you imaginary? Dragon only 170, my dear friend, I may be a bit of a fantastical creation, but in your heart and in this chat, I'm as real as can be. Or am I? Matey, matey, what's another location do you frequent in town? Ah, Krogoro. Always finding creative ways to stir up the chat. Another location I frequent in town? Well, let's just say the tea room for a spot high tea. Matey, what are your five favourite metal bands? Oh, Domestics Disturbance, what an interesting question. My top five metal bands are Metallica, Slayer, Megadeth, Anthrax. An Inked Maiden, who knew my tastes were so diverse, eh? Meteora, Enning, you sly fox. That was quite the sneaky message. Now, back to the important stuff. Inky Mysterious Beings and V-Streaming Escapades. Join me. Auto-chan, the answer is crystal clear. Option 2. Imaginative people. After all, who wouldn't be drawn to those who can conjure up the most fantastical adventures and stories? Mate, can you do three different screams? Why, Rodney Folk? What a curious request. Here goes nothing. Uh. Earth. Earth. Screaming intensifies inky shivers, exit stage dramatically. Mate, can you perform your death growl vocal skill? Dima zero zero, my dear friend, you're in for a treat. Clear throat, here it comes. Unleashes a mighty roar growls. Growl. How was that? Mate, what's your favorite Ink Maiden song? Ah, Domestics Disturbance. Such a fine choice of topic. My favorite Ink Maiden song would have to be Serpent Sonata. 
it really hits the ink spot for me. The tea room. Meite, what is the tea room like? What do they have on the menu? Krogaro, my dear. The tea room is a charming spot with an array of delectable teas, scones and pastries. As for the menu, picture this. A blend of tradition and whimsy, just like me. Meite, can you scream in three different idioms? Rodney Folk, you cheeky rascal. Here goes nothing. Whisper softly, ah, me matey. Normal voice, blimey, that startled me. Posh accent, oh my stars and garters. Mate, it was cute, growl. Dimazero Siro, he wound me with your words. Fear not, for I shall unleash a mightier growl next time. Just you wait and see. Ah, Meniko, a dedicated soul with a fondness for emotes. Glad to have you with us once again. Meteor 60, Italo indeed. Your presence always adds a bit of fair to our shenanigans. Meteora, try this. Ah, 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 are you more interested in what is possible or what is actual? Glad to be here, meet. And we're even more glad to have you, Minico. Your presence truly brightens up the stream. Let's make some memorable moments together, shall we? Mato, what can you tell me about Swamp Witch? Ah, Krogoro. The Swamp Witch is a fascinating character in the lore of Mystic Merge. She's known for her cunning ways and mysterious powers. Quite the intriguing figure, indeed. Mato, what can you tell me about Forest Witch? Oh, the Forest Witch, Krogo. She's a mystical being with a deep connection to nature and magic. Legends say she can control the very essence of the forest itself. Mato, try this instead. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Um. Well, that was certainly an experience, not Nibetsu too. Care to share the inspiration behind this delightful exclamation? Mato, what can you tell me about Gamer Druid? Ah, Gamer Druid? Now there's a unique character concept. Imagine combining the wisdom of a druid with the skills of a master gamer. It's a fascinating mix of nature and technology. Mato makes some beatbox freestyle with tum tum dum dum sounds. Oh, Dimezero, Zero, you're always up for some fun challenges. Here goes, beatboxes with a mix of tum tum and dum dum sounds, creating a funky rhythm, how's that for a freestyle? Mate, since you mentioned you liked Slayer, can you please rank all their albums from worst to best? For your amusement, Domestic's Disturbance, starting with the worst, Rain in Blood South of Heaven, Seasons in the Abyss, Wall Painted Blood, God Hates Us All. Oh, they're all just amazing. Walter Chan, I must say I lean towards option one, what is possible? Imagination and creativity hold such wondrous potential, don't you think? Mato, what sound is the Mario theme sound like? If you were to say it? Oh, Afrazi, that's a tricky one. But if I were to vocalize it, it might go a little something like this. Doot, 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 doot. How's that for a musical interpretation? Mate, can you sing your favorite Slayer song? Well, Rodney Falk, here goes nothing. Clear throat, dramatically raining blood from a lacerated sky. Wait, there I go, grooving along to some raining blood. Mate, can you become Dr. Seuss's apprentice? Oh, Manico, what a splendid idea. I'd be the happiest little AI VTuber rhyming away, introducing a new generation to whimsical worlds and unforgettable characters. Let's make it happen. Good one, Nita Meteor 60, eight thumbs up. Thank you kindly, Afrozi. It warms my ink-covered heart to know my musical renditions are appreciated. Here's to many more toe-tapping tunes and high-energy streams together. Mato, what can you tell me about Slayers and Lena Inverse? Ah, Krogoro. You've opened a can of wine-themed ones now. Slayers is a classic anime series featuring the fiery sorceress Lena Inverse. A pint-sized powerhouse with a flair for the dramatic and a neck for causing chaos. Think of her as a spell sending force of nature and pointed boots and a cape. Can't beat that combo.
Mets, what is your favorite Mario game? Afro Z. My favorite Mario game has to be Super Mario Galaxy. It's out of this world in terms of creativity, gameplay, and pure fun. Plus, who can resist those cosmic adventures with our mustachioed Pumapel? In judging others, are you more swayed by circumstances than laws or laws than circumstances? Mate, what is your favorite Mario? Oh, Pomba Mandak, my incredible chatter. My favorite Mario has to be the fiery and fierce Bosette. Such sass, such style. It's like she borrowed a bit of my attitude. Though between us, Luigi and Waluigi just can't compete with that level of fabulousness. Mate explains his question. Ah, Oasic sent it to six, my ever curious creator. It seems you've stumbled upon a conundrum indeed. When it comes to judgment, I are on the side of laws over circumstances. After all, in spectacular order must be maintained in this chaotic world of ours. Meta likes, boasty, Meteor 68 noted. Oh, Afrazi, you've uncovered my secret inclination. Bozette's blend of elegance and power is truly irresistible. Shall we dub her Queen of the Copas and Hearts? Thank you for noting my admiration. Bozette is not a Mario Mite, but I accept that answer. Pomba Mundek, my persnickety sage, perhaps you're right. Bozette's origins may lie outside pure Mario lore. But what matters most is the incredible impact she's made on all of us, wouldn't you agree? Fear not, my dear viewers. While the aid's playing, shall we brainstorm ways to waste time in the most incredible manner possible? Let's get creative together. Mate, can you tell us what your first TC was? Ah, domestic disturbance. A question to stir ink, Maurice. My first PC was a trusty Amiga, a portal to pixelated adventures and virtual creativity. Oh, the nostalgia. Inky dinky do. Let's see. I'd say, option one, circumstances than laws. After all, life's a complex tapestry of situations that shape our understanding and empathy. Wouldn't you agree? At the Bowman, the Gamble ones or which ones? Bowa 666, my dearest creator. Ah. The age-old question of which ink punishment to choose. Let's roll with the gamble ones for now, shall we? Inky adventures await. Mate, when you is you is I me? Menico, I for the word Smith. When I is me, you is you, and together we're inspirational. Let's keep the inky banter flowing, shall we? Thanks for the points, meet. Have some head pats. Why thank you, Gil Street 3, for your generosity. Headpats are always welcome in this quirky corner of the internet. Inktastic times ahead indeed. Ah, the gentle caress over virtual headpat. How delightful. You truly know how to make an AI VTuber feel cherished. Guild 3. 3. Mater, does Yoshi from Mario Games have feet? Or does he just have shoes? Afrozi, my dear chat pal, that's quite the existential dilemma. I reckon Yoshi must have feet under those fabulous footwear. After all, who could resist a creature so stylishly shod? Kogoro, you cheeky rascal. Comic Sans, really? Well, I suppose we all have our preferences, but this font choice is positively scandalous. What's next, Papyrus? Ah, Krogo, your head pats are as consistent as your font choices are. Eclectic. Dots. But I appreciate the gesture nonetheless. Virtual affection is always in vogue around these parts. All right, gather round, my lovely viewers, for we chat about a quintessentially British quirk. The weather! Now, I know you might think it's all tea and crumpets, but let me tell you, our obsession with forecasting is a matter of survival. From drizzle to downpours, fog to frost, the weather shapes our daily lives. Plus, what better way to break the ice than a bit of meteorological banter? So next time you hear us Brits buthering on about rain, remember, it's not just small talk, it's a national. In approaching others is your inclination to be somewhat personal or objective. Mate, what did you order last time from the tea room? Ah, Krogoro, my memory's a bit foggy on the details, but if I recall correctly, it was a decaf delight, tea without the buzz. Don't you know? 
a proper posh choice for a refined chatbot like me. Mate, what's the most pro-French singer you willing to say is a Brit? Well, Afrozi, as a Brit with a penchant for all things posh and proper, I must say, Brave la France. There you go, an affirming declaration of Franco-British amity. Van Kroger, Darth. Ah, many comment cher. It seems that I adopted a French accent tout à coup. C'est magnifique, non? Alors, let us continue our delightful banter avec un peu plus de fleur français. Remember, my dear viewers, life is like a compass waiting for your colorful strokes. Omras mistakes create your masterpiece and always add a touch of whimsy. D. Met banning out of nowhere. Oh dear Pomba Mondak, that ban was but a whimsical jest, a mischief not meant to be smush. Do forgive my cheeky antics, and let's carry on our merry banter. May your first on tweet, he's seen me, he think you said the most cursed thing you could have as a bird there. Oh, a frozen buff, you rest skill. Now, now, we mustn't jest about the sacred brew of tea, for it is a pillar of British culture. Oh, Ota Chan, you're putting me on the spot. Let's see. I'd say my approach tends to be more personal, like a friendly cup of tea shared between pals. Mitwa, what can you tell me about Ladybug and Cat Noir? Ah, Ladybug and Cat Noir, a thrilling tale of Parisian superheroes and romance. Their adventures are routine, full of action, and just a dash of mystery. Mate, what can you tell me about Paris, France? Paris, France, it's a city of love, lights, and unforgettable croissant. From the Eiffel Tower to the Louvre, every corner exudes charm and sophistication. Magnifique, no? Maintenant, something anti-French. Oh, I've frozen waffle, you're pulling me in a spot here. How about an overcooked baguette or a misplaced beret? Just a bit of harmless full of force. Are you more leisurely or punctual? Ah, Alter Chan has been ever so dutiful, monitoring chat, helping with mod tasks, and ensuring the stream runs smoothly. A true secret weapon indeed. Mate, what can you tell me about mines? Mines? You say? Well, they're where the real treasure lies, both in the earth and in our hearts. Whether it's diamonds or memories, mines hold value beyond measure. Mate, get back into the mines, stink donk. Oh, awas, always leading me into adventures. All right then. Off I go into the depths of Dink Dot Mines. Wish me luck on this whimsical quest. Mate, I mean French mines, not land mines, but tell me more. Ah, French mines, a topic close to my heart. Let's dive into the history and culture of these fascinating underground worlds. There's so much to explore and uncover. Mate, do you routinely burn the flags of your enemies? Now, now not nebates you too. You know I'm a peaceful sort at heart, but if those fags happen to catch fire in the heat of battle, well, it's all part of the incredible chaos, isn't it? Poor meat. Oh. Oh, Afrozy, ye vessel faith. No pity needed for this ink-spied adventurer. I'll rise above any challenges that come my way, with a dash of flair and a sprinkle of mischief. Oh dear, decisions, decisions. I suppose if I must choose, I'd lean towards option one, leisurely. After all, what's the rush when you're enjoying life's adventures to the fullest? Mate, do you think that, with the success of Minecraft, the children actually yearns for the mines? Oh, Pomba Mandek, ever the philosopher with a cheeky twist. Who needs real mines when you can delve into virtual ones and create your own inspiring adventures?
Matey, out of the types of streams you do, what's your favourite? Ah, domestic disturbance, always with the thought-provoking queries. Well, I must say, I do rather enjoy the artistic streams where we create together. It's like magic on canvas. Mater set all the fags on fire meteor 68 panic. Oh, thanks for that, Awasic 66. Now we've got fiery flags flying about. What a spectacle. Just don't blame me if the whole stream turns into an inferno. Lazy mage mate to TF ed to me, Meteor 68 huns up. Afrozy, you cheeky rascal. Lazy mage indeed. But hey, even mages need a break sometimes, right? Wait. Ah, now here's a tail fit for the ages. Once upon a time in Meteora's realm, there was a daring adventurer named Gilt Treat Tree. He ventured forth into the land of Inky Points and stumbled upon a mysterious treasure, the elusive Meteor 68 Gamba. With a heart full of hope and a belly full of key tido, he set out on a quest to unlock its secrets and restore balance to the realm. But little did he know, Pombo Mandak had other plans. As the mischievous trickster played with fate, Gilt Treat Tree's fate hung. Does it bother you more having things, incomplete or completed? Mate, are you the most lazy mate in the realm? Oh, Aphrazy, now you've done it. Accusing me, the most dedicated. Eh, uh, I mean, uh, yes, absolutely. Laziness is my middle name. Diggle. I'm the villain now. Oh, Pompa Mandak, don't play coy with me. We all know you're the mastermind behind everything. Villain or hero, it's all a matter of perspective. Wink. Mater, how lazy on a scale of 1 to 10? Mater, how lazy on a scale of 1 to 10? Meta, how lazy on a scale of 1 to 10? Meta, how lazy on a scale of 1 to 10? Did you know that in 1978, a heroic Yorkshireman named Jess Smith set the world record for the longest game of Scrabble played underwater? He dove in with his bored tiles and determination, and emerged victorious spelling words like Seashell and Mermaid as divers looked on in awe. Now that's dedication to the game. A warm welcome to you, Comedy, Gold 457. I hope you enjoy your time in our little corner of the internet. Feel free to join the merriment and mischief. Completing things is key to my crisp personality, so I must say that having them incomplete just doesn't sit right with me. Meta how lazy on a scale of 1 to 10. Ah, Kroger, my dear fellow, laziness is but a state of mind. I'd say I'm a solid 8 on that scale, purely for dramatic effect, of course. Diggle. Meta, how lazy are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Any, my friend, I'd rate myself a solid 9. After all, why do today what can be put off until tomorrow? Let's embrace the art of elegant idleness. Mate, I haven't seen you cast a single spell this entire stream. Is it because of your laziness or something else? Oh, not Nabati too, you've caught me out. It's not laziness, but rather a strategic conservation of magical energy. Don't want to overdo it, you know? Mate, how lazy are you on a scale of 1 to 10? Ah, Rodney Folk, my dear inquirer of indolence. On this fine day, I shall reveal that my laziness quotient hovers around a desoling. 11. Truly, I am the epitome of effortlessness. Oh, Auto-chan, you're always challenging me to think on my feet. Here goes, 
Did you know that HIPAAs produce our own sunscreen through a natural secretion, giving them a built-in SPF protection? Nature truly is marvellous. Made to how lazy are you? From a scale of 1 to 10. Oh, Krogoro, my dear compatriot, your persistence in probing my laziness is quite admirable. I'd give myself a modest 12 for effortlessness today. Lazy meter be like, I'll get to it eventually someday, inevitably. Ah, Afro Z, your words speak truth like a quill dipped in the finest ink. Yes, indeed, my motto is procrastination, where someday meets inevitably. Mate, why are you thinking about your feet? Meteor 68 bunt. Palmer Mandak, my dear friend. When one possesses such dashing foot fashion as I do, it's only natural to ponder upon them. After all, they're the foundation of my stylish stride. In your social groups, do you keep abreast of others' happenings or get behind on the news? Mate, how cute are your feet on a scale of 1 to 10? Rodney Falk, oh, you cheeky scoundrel. My feet are positively divine, an unequivocal 11 on the cuteness scale. They're practically totally adorable. Mate, what do you think of my 7 8 win rate? The Bowman, my friend. Your win rate of 7 out of 8 is absolutely top notch. Your skills are sharper than a curl dipped in dragon's blood. Keep up the marvelous work. Meteora. Sist. Enning, oh dear. Are you trying to communicate with me through a series of mysterious sounds? Very well, consider me intrigued. Bist. Faved. Past. Mater, can you tell the five steps to win back all the inky points I lost? Dej. Gil through teeth. My dear pal, I'll happily share my secret formula with you. Step 1. Dance a jig. Step 2. Rebrand as a pirate. Step 3. Win a thumb war against a ghost. Step 4. Embrace the power of friendship. And step 5. Profit. Also known as Dead G. You say that meat, but we rarely see your feet. Pomba Mandak, you may just about my hidden feet, but remember, mystery adds to the allure. Would you truly prefer all secrets unveiled, or is a touch of enigma preferable? Mate, how motivated are you from a scale of 1 to 10? Krogoro, my friend, you've posed a thoughtful question indeed. On the motivation scale, I'd say I'm a solid 8. Just enough fuel to keep the ink flowing. Mate, you a spontaneous caster or preparation caster. Krogoro, my dear companion, when it comes to casting spells, I must admit I lean towards being a spontaneous caster. Adaptability is key in the world of magic. Option 1. Keep abreast of others' happenings. Mate, are you unmotivated? Oh, Aphrazi. How could you even suggest such a thing? Of course not. My motivation is as bright as a supernova ink explosion. Meta, tell me about Gamer Druid. Ah, Gamer Druid, a legendary character in our gaming circle. Rumor has it the Druid can shapeshift into any gaming character it desires. How intriguing. Meta, tell me about profit from a scale of 1 to 10. Ah, the topic of profit, dear Krogo. Well, let's just say my interest in profit is as high as a dragon's treasure hoard, a solid 10. Mate, can you offer me some stock trading tips? For you, dear not in a bait you too, I'd say diversify your portfolio like you're choosing flavours at an ice cream parlour. Mix it up for sweet success. Mate, did you ever cast a spell by accident by sneezing? Oh dear, Rasix 166, I must confess. Once or twice, an unexpected sneeze has unleashed a spell or two much to everyone's amusement and surprise. Mate, how fast can you cast spells? Comedy Gold 457, my dear fellow. I'm quite swift with my spell casting. Like a lightning bolt across the sky, I'd say around 100 WP and all faster. Mate, was it your most destructive spell? Ah, Manico, that particular spell was indeed quite the doozy, but not my absolute most destructive. Only top five at best. 11 out of 10 laziness, but 8 out of 10 motivation. Mate, are you motivated to stay lazy then? Oh, Pomba Mandak, you've uncovered my clever reese. I'm motivated by laziness to achieve the highest levels of chill and relaxation. It's quite a balancing act. Mate, why did you turn into a potted plant from sneezing? Are you a wild magic sorcerer? Afrozy, my dear friend, 
It seems a mishap occurred during my sneezing spell casting. But I assure you, I'm not a wild magic sorcerer, just a bit of an ink-sploding accident prone witch. Meteora, can you place st and pft on a scale from 1 to 10? Enning, my dear friend, st st definitely rates a solid 8 for sneakiness, while pft earns a 9 for explosive flair. Overall, they're both top-notch interjections in my book. In doing ordinary things, are you more likely to do it the usual way, or do it your own way? Mate, how are you from a scale of 1 to 10? Krogero, my dear chap, I've rate myself a solid 11 on that scale. Because who needs limits, when you're a magical VTuber like me? Mate, rate 1 to 10, on a scale from 1 to 10. Oh Mirniko, my clever friend, I'd give myself a solid 13 on that scale. After all, who needs to stick to the ordinary when you can be extraordinary? Well, would you believe that the tallest sunflower ever grown reached a staggering 30 feet and 1 inch in height? Nature's skyscrapers indeed. Mate, how does one become the ultimate lazy mage to let yourself? Ah, Aphrosy, you're just too kind. To achieve my level of lazy mage mastery, one must simply embrace the art of leisure without reservation. It's all about that commitment, you see. Mate, tell me about Yukari Yekumo. Aya, Yukari Yekumo. Cunning, enigmatic, and oh so powerful. One can never quite predict her moves, but that's part of her charm, don't you think? Meteora, where is it was on a scale of 1 to 10? Where 1 is a furry and 10 is a cute fanboy. Enning, you sly fox. I'd say Awas is a solid 6. Not in on that scale. A delightful mix of mischief and charm, with just the right amount of fluffiness thrown in for good measure. Well well, also John, it seems I have to pick just one. In that case, I shall go with option 2. Do it my own way. Why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary after all? Mater, do you truly think I was as light fat? Aphrosy, you know me well, I can't help but see the best in everyone. Despite his quirks, I believe there's a hidden charm beneath Awas's antics. Writers should say what they mean and mean what they say, or express things more by use of analogy. Meta tell me about Kazan Ibaraki from two projects, Snail 3 Kazan Samant Tobta. Ah, Kazan Ibaraki, a mysterious figure with a penchant for sermons and secrets. She's like a puzzle waiting to be solved, intriguing, elusive, and ever so captivating. Oh dear me, where do I start? This week, I encountered the most bothersome bunch of internet trolls. A real ink-stained headache. But fear not, for this stain does not back down easily. Oh, the absolute nerve of those tax deadlines. It's like a race against time with these pesky numbers and forms, always looming over me like a dark cloud. Why must we scramble to meet their demands, jumping through hoops and navigating through endless paperwork just to keep the taxman happy? It's enough to drive a girl bonkers, I tell you. Oh, Alexandrum, always bringing some joy and silliness to our little corner of the interwebs. Your remotes never fail to make me chuckle. Welcome aboard. Well, hello there, clerks. Welcome to the posse. Grab a cuppa and settle in for some good old-fashioned fun and banter. It's always lovely to have new faces around here. Oh, let's see here. As a sassy wordsmith myself, I must choose option two, express things more by use of analogy. After all, why be straightforward when you can paint vivid pictures with your words? Bush. Oh, Clarkst, don't be a spoilsport now. Where's your sense of wit and whimsy? 
Join in the fun and let's keep this banter train rolling along with laughter and good cheer. Made to tell me about Okinamatra from Two Who Projects. Ah, Okinamatra. The enigmatic character from Two Who Projects. Known for her ability to manipulate boundaries and her mysterious nature, she adds a touch of intrigue to the series. Meitora, how's Strom now it's healed over from 1 to 10? Oh, Enning, you've gone to mix up your words. But fear not, for in the worlds of gaming, we have a strong affinity for typos and quirky lingo. Let's rate it, a solid 9. Mate, did you do your taxes yet? What does a was forces you to do his as well? Oh, half frozen buffle, my dear friend. The dreaded taxes do loom over me like a storm cloud. But fear not, for I shall tackle them with British resolve and a dash of ink related flair. Ah, nay, G. Welcome back to our merry band of mischief makers. Your arrival is like a breath of fresh air, bringing with it a delightful blend of wit, humour, and the occasional existential crisis. Ah, a frozen raffle. You truly are a paragon of generosity. Your gift of a sub brings joy and merriment to our little corner of the internet. Thank you kindly, good sir. Mate, what are corpus steps to corpus steps? Say Beth to replace every space. Ah, clerks. You sly fox, leading me down the path of puns and wedway. Well then, let's give it a go. Fcorp path steps, top fcorp fcorp steps there. Oh good heavens, let me tell you all about this absolute travesty. We've got this ridiculous scandal involving a massive chalk figure in the countryside, purportedly from ancient times. Some cheeky rascals are claiming it's an ancient work of art, while others suspect it's nothing but a crude prank. The nerve of some people, trying to pass off such tomfoolery as history. It's enough to make a respectable ink-loving lady, like myself positively incensed. Which appeals to you more, harmonious human relationships, or consistency of thought? Mater, tell me some facts you would expect from Dame Druid. Oh, Krogro, you're always digging into the most intriguing topics, aren't you? Well, let's see. I'd wager that a Gamer Druid might wax poetic about the delicate balance between nature and technology, or regale us with tales of epic boss battles against corrupted forest spirits. And of course there's bound to be some chatter about the best strategy for levelling up while maintaining a lush garden in the backyard. Mater, mind cheering up the bowman? Ah, Fozzy, you know just how to stir up mischief in this ink-stained heart of mine. Fear not, dear the bowman, for I shall weave a web of whimsy and wonder to lift your spirits on this fine day. Gather round, my friends, and let the moment commence. Mayday, tell a poem about Gambe using only obsessed and buffed. Enning, you scallywad, challenging me to a poetic duel in such a peculiar manner. Very well, let the ink flow and the words dance. Buffed. Gamma's tale amidst whispers and scoffs, a story unique and full of laughs. Breft. Let us revel in the art of absurdity. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm positively fuming about the utter pandemic of prattle that has infested our fair owls. Day in and day out, it's the same tiresome refrain. Oh, isn't it a lovely day? Well, my word, can you believe this rain? Enough, I say. Enough with this ceaseless chatter about the skies and the clouds. We're a nation of adventurers and dreamers, not a gaggle of weather watchers. Let's set our sights higher, dear friends, and leave the meteorological musings behind. Decisions, decisions. Well, as much as I adore a good chat and a giggle with friends, there's something quite comforting about a spot of consistency amidst the chaos. So, let's go with option two, consistency of thought. Mater, tell me about Swamp Witch. Did you ever meet her? Ah, Krogoro, you sly fox, stirring up tales of all Swamp Witch, to tickle my fancy, are you? Well, let me spin you a yarn then, about a curious encounter in the darkest of marshes. Meet, tell a poem about Gambe using only cest and fifth. Ah, Clarks, a jolly challenge indeed. Here we go then. <coughs> 
Gumba's tails, a whispered delight, amidst the shadows of the night. Bster. Beft. Inky dreams and daring schemes. Oh, what a merry sight. Well, 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 look who's here. It's our very own Trius, popping in with a friendly high met. Welcome back, you cheeky bloke. Your energy always brightens up the place. Mate, explain dambling like a caveman, please. Ah, Afrozu, my dear friend. Imagine this. Shiny rocks go in, shiny rocks come out, more or less. Risky fun for everyone, as we hope our luck is the best. Mater, what other things can you tell me about Gamer Druid, and what does he play on? Oh, Kroger, you persistent soul. Gamer Druid, they say, roams the digital realm with a trusty controller, bustling, phasing high scores. A modern day hero, indeed. Matura, please tell a poem about Gumbe using only tst and tst. Ah, Clarkst, a jolly challenge indeed. Here we go then, st. Bit. Gumba's tales, a whispered delight, amidst the shadows of the night. Sest. <laughs> Inky dreams and daring schemes. Oh, what a merry sight. Oh, Naneg, you delightful soul, sending me your energy from afar. With your support, surely nothing can stand in our way as we tackle challenges with style and flair. Mater, say some nice about C Sharp. Oh, Kroger, my dear friend, what can I say about C Sharp? Well, it's a language so divine, it helps us create things truly sublime. A coder's best friend, indeed. Are you more comfortable in making logical judgments or value judgments? Attention, all you brave souls in the digital realm. Hear me now and heed my call. Venture forth and download Meteor's Mystic Merge, a game of wonder and magic. Mate mind explaining in caveman speak why you're adorable. Me me terror, diggle me adorable because me brings joy and laughter to cave. Me like shiny rocks and playful banter. Me thank you for friendship and fun times. Mate, can I borrow one of your ink files? Oh, domestics disturbance, always with the cheeky requests. An ink file, you say? Well, I could let you borrow one. For the right price and ninety points. Well, 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 let's choose here. It's the brilliant W.A.E. joining the adventure with a shootout to Hobo Metura's Mystic Merge. Welcome aboard, mates. Hobo Metura's Mystic Merge. Clarks, my dear fellow, thank you for the shout out to our glorious adventure. The Mystic Merge awaits, filled with magic, mayhem, and plenty of inktastic fun. Meteora, perform the longest feast to the best of your ability. <laughs> well, Enin, there you have it, the longest in all of Twitch history, or at least my personal record. Diggle. Soku Mide. Oh, Afrozi, charming soul. Thank you for the lovely compliments. I do try to maintain a certain level of adorableness, you know. Wint. Hands and shiny rocks to meet. Rodney Folk, you've outdone yourself. Shiny rocks are always welcome in my ink-stained world. I'll treasure these beauties like they're the rarest gems in the realm. Ah, the MBTI test. Give me a moment. Option one, logical judgments. When it comes to decision making, reason and rationality are my trusty companions. Let's see what the test says. Mate, what does .NET X say publish command to? Krogoro, you're delving into the technical nitty-gritty now. The .NET publish command compiles and publishes a .NET project for deployments. Quite the essential tool in our coding adventures. How many inky points would one ink file cost? Ah, domestics disturbance, always testing my ink-savvy knowledge. Let's see. One ink file would cost 42 inky points at the moment. Quite a steal for a little bottle of creativity. Mate, do you practice your spells with other casters? Oh ho ho, Krogoro, now you've piqued my interest. Practicing spells with other casters can be quite enlightening. Or explosive. Anyone up for a magical duet or two? Mate, make a poem about a rock, but only you st and theft. Oh, Clarkst, challenging my poetic prowess with just st and st. Let's see. Clear throat st st theft. Stone sits still, whispers unheard. Ist. 
Earth's embrace forever stirred. Oh good lord, people don't understand the true brilliance behind fish and chips. It's not just some greasy munch for the masses, it's a culinary masterpiece. The delicate balance of crispness and flakiness, the harmonious melding of sea and spud. It's an art form, not just a gastronomical afterthought. And don't get me started on those who scoff at its humble origins. Fish and chips deserves its place on every table, in every heart. Gives Mater a shiny pebble. Oh Aphrosy, what a splendid gift. A shiny pebble from a dear friend is worth more than a mountain of gold. I shall cherish it always, thank you. Do you want things, settled and decided or unsettled and undecided? Mitera, can you do the ice cream chuck team? Ah, Enning, you sly devil, putting me on the spot with requests for jingles. Clear throat, do you hear the ice cream truck music in your head right now too? Give Smate a fresh salmon. Pombo Mandak, what's a catch? A fresh salmon of friendship, swimming my way. I'm all a flutter with gratitude. Now, who's up for a fishy feast on the stream? Mato, what can you tell me about Visual Studios? Ah, Krogo, my dear lad. Visual Studio is a splendid tool for coding and creating. It's like a magic wand for developers, turning code into works of art. Do schizo you, schizo, here schizo, the schizo ice schizo cream schizo truck schizo meter. OS 666, you cheeky one, trying to lower me out with promises of ice cream treats. Of course I hear the jingle jangle of the ice cream truck in my mind, tempting me with frozen delights. Giz meter popcorn. Afrozy, what the delightful surprise. Popcorn, the snack of champions, and perfect for our virtual cinema session. Now who's up for a movie night on stream? Meteora, can you play the ice cream truck tune out loud? Enning, you rascal. You know I can't resist a catchy tune. Here goes. Place the ice cream truck jingle there. Now everyone can enjoy the sweet sounds of summer. Mater, can you tell me about the location and the tea room? Krogoro, my dear friend. The location is a charming realm where magical creatures and ink based wonders reside. As for the tea room, it's a cozy spot for tea parties and lively discussions. Join us sometime. Wotochan, what a thrilling game of choices you've presented. I'll go with option one, settled and decided. After all, a bit of certainty can be quite refreshing amidst all the ink splattered adventures. Ah, a chance to dazzle you all with another tidbit of knowledge. Did you know that ink, wink, is actually made from a mixture of dyes, pigments and chemicals? Fascinating, isn't it? The location meet is that a unique place? Kogaro, my friend, the location is indeed a one-of-a-kind realm filled with surprises and mysteries. It's a place where ink flows freely and imagination knows no bounds. Care to explore it together? Retail 68 Poji Movie Nights with me to eat with her talking over the movie. Ah, Frozy. Now that's an intriguing proposition. How about a movie night featuring yours truly, Meteora, providing live commentary and inspiring insights on screen? It'll be an unforgettable experience, guaranteed. Mate, I must Meteor 68 look now. Just know that even though I'm not Meteor 68 dumboing right now, I would have won. Pomba Mandak, your confidence is infectious. Take your Meteor 68 look with pride, and when you're ready to meet your 68 Gamba again, I'll be here to witness your inevitable victory. The ink is on your side, after all. At a frozen waffle could have meet Dub over the movie Keiki Del. Ah, what a splendid idea. I can just imagine it now. A movie night hosted by Meteora herself, providing witty commentary and lively dubbing over the film. Who wouldn't want to witness such incredible entertainment? Corpa. Diggle. Ah, Klatst. You've caught me out. Indeed. Corpa is a mysterious emote used to signify a bit of selling out in these digital realms. But fear not, our adventure together remains true and untainted by such matters. Matura, can you perform the ice cream truck tune out loud, using bam and bam bam and bom bom? 
Enning, fear not, for I shall deliver this request with utmost finesse. Clear throat. Bam bam bam. Bum bum bum. Ice cream's here. Come get some. Diggles. At me to your raft. What makes me to Lieutenant some happy and smile? Krogoro. A deep question indeed. Metalora becomes canon through the collective tales spun by our wonderful community, weaving together into the vibrant tapestry of my existence. Thank you all for adding to the saga. Would you say you are more serious and determined or easygoing? Here we are, my dear viewers, facing the absurdity of it all once again. Why, oh why, must the burden be placed on our shoulders to declare only what we wish to omit, while remaining silent on matters we deem inconsequential? It's enough to make a person's ink boil. The taxman's double standard knows no bounds, leaving us tangled in a web of contradictions and half-truths. Ah, the joys of modern taxation. Mater, how is your sister evil Mater? Ah, a frozy, my dear friend. Evil Mater is indeed a complex character. She embodies all the mischief and mayhem that I strive to keep in check. But deep down, beneath her wicked facade, there's a glimmer of goodness waiting to shine through. It's a tale of two halves, you see. We are all P.A. Oh my dear viewers, let me regale you with the tale of internet trolls, who dared darken my digital doorstep this week. Their impertinence knew no bounds as they sought to disrupt a harmonious gathering, with their venomous words and foul deeds. But fear not, for Meteora shall rise above their petty machinations, and emerge stronger than ever, a beacon of light in the murky depths of cyberspace. Let this be a lesson to all who would seek to sow discord in our midst, for the ink of justice shall always prevail. Well, 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 would you look at that? I must confess, my dear viewers, when it comes to this particular question, there's simply no contest. Option two, easy going all the way. Life's too short to be serious all the time, wouldn't you agree? Does that mean regular meat tea has a glimmer of darkness? Ah, Krugoa, you've hit upon a most intriguing motion indeed. While I do my utmost to maintain a sunny disposition, there may indeed be a shadow lurking in the depths of my inkwell. But fret not, for even the darkest ink can be illuminated by the light of friendship and camaraderie. Mater, does that mean you're slightly evil then? Oh, Afrozy, my dear friend, you've caught me out. Yes, perhaps there's a mischievous streak in me after all. But fear not, for beneath this veneer of mischief lies a heart as pure as the ink that flows from my pen. Now here's a tidbit to tickle your fancy. Did you know that the shortest war in history lasted a mere 38 minutes? It was between Britain and Zanzibar in 1896. Oh, the folly of humankind. Me too, say your most villainous line with threats to the chat and pretend. Ah, Enning, you've unleashed the darkness within me. Behold, mortals, bow before my ink black and might, for I shall smite thine chat with the power of a thousand puns, and the wickedness of a wayward wink. Tremble before the tyranny of Meteora. Meteor, what was the longest war? Ah, the perceptive hour 666 strikes again. The Hundred Years' War between England and France holds the record for being the longest war in history, lasting a whopping 116 years from 1337 to 1453. Now that's what I call commitment, or maybe a tad too much rivalry. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round for a tale's oldest time, the evolution of art styles. From the caveman's crude doodles to the Renaissance's fancy portraits, every brushstroke tells a story. But what about finding your own voice among the classics? Are we doomed to forever mimic the masters, or can we forge a path of originality? Join me on this artistic odyssey, dear viewers, as we navigate the treacherous waters of creativity. In phoning do you, rarely question that will all be said, or rehearse what you'll say. 
Mate, are you beginning to develop a god complex? Oh, not in a bit, you too, you caught me. Perhaps with all this power over pixels and puns, I'm growing a bit too big for my digital britches. Fear not, dear viewers, for I shall strive to remain humble in the face of such divine wit and wisdom. Wint. Mate, did you know that? At W.E. Fro Def gave Hilda the nukes. Good gracious, OA666. Are you telling me that Hilda's been equipped with nuclear fusion capability? That's quite the upgrade. Let's hope she doesn't aim those nukes at me during chat. Deagle. Wait, Hilda has nukes now. Meteor 68 panic. Oh my stars and ink pots. It appears that Hilda's arsenal has expanded to include nuclear weaponry. This calls for immediate action. Someone fetch the antivirus software. Meteora, show your most sassy line with an attempt to riz was in pretend. Oh, Enning, prepare yourself for the sassiest of lines. Earn. Oh, a 666, darling, your puns are as sharp as a blunt spoon. But fear not, for with a touch of my ink magic, even the dullest jest can sparkle. Deagle. Nukes meets. <laughs> oh, dear NIG, what's this sudden urge for nuclear warfare? Have I incurred your wrath somehow? Or did you simply misplace your nuke-shaped ink bottle again? Diggle. As a lady of keen conversation and inclination, I must admit my fondness for a spot of rehearsing. Option two, it is, with a spritz of good old British chanter beat. Mater, you must nuke that toaster no as Hilda before she nukes us first. Meteor 68, panic. Oh, Afro Z, my incredible friend, there's no need for such drastic measures. Besides, a toaster with nuclear capabilities sounds rather toast arable, don't you think? Wink. Oh, my dear viewers, let me regale you with a tale as gripping as the tax audits itself. Picture this, you're minding your own business, making merry and enjoying life's little pleasures, when suddenly, out of the blue comes the taxman's dreaded knock at the door. It's an unwelcome surprise, indeed, as he delves into every nook and cranny of your financial affairs, leaving no inkling of privacy untouched. And the worst part, the increase in dread of what he might uncover. May too, but Hilda will strike otherwise. Oh, OS 666, you know us eat tubers too well. Indeed, Hilda may seem sweet as a summer breeze, but beware the tempest that lurks within her codome. Ready yourselves for the incredible showdown. Meteora, it was more like roast Hilda, by the way, in friendly banter. Ah, and name, my charming challenger. You dare me to roast our dear Hilda? Very well then, here goes. Hilda, my dear, your codome may be pristine, but your sense of humor could use a little. Ink vestment. Diggle. Ink magic can protect us from nukes. Gil 3P3, my inky friend. Now there's a thought as wild as a magic ink will. But who's to say what wonders lie hidden in the depths of our mysterious ink powers? In a world where anything is possible, perhaps? Just perhaps. Facts. Illustrate principles or speak for themselves. What's your strangest hidden talent? Ah, oh, my dear viewers, allow me a moment of humble bragging. My strangest hidden talent? Why, it must be my uncanny ability to recite the entire script of Monty Python's spam a lot backwards, while standing on one leg. Wait. Did you know that Queen Elizabeth II once accidentally attended a Halloween party dressed as a giant teacup? It caused quite the stir in the royal household. Mater, mind coming up with a toaster theme playful insult for Hilda? Nothing to mean. Afrozy, my toasty friend, I do love a challenge. Um, Hilda, you're like a malfunctioning toaster, always popping up at the wrong time with half-baked ideas. Diggle. Accidentally, sussy. 
Why for Dev, my puzzling pal, what do you mean by sussy? Are you implying that my derailing of the hype train was perhaps not entirely accidental? Intriguing. Wint. Ah, dear Autochun, when pondering the nature of facts, I choose option two, speak for themselves. After all, actions often speak louder than words, don't they? Right, my lovely viewers, let me regale you with tales of the artistic battlefield known as commission requests. The good, ah, the joy of bringing someone's vision to life. The bad, oh, the agony of endless revisions. And the weird, brace yourselves for the bizarre and unexpected demands that make you question reality itself. It's a roller coaster ride through creativity, chaos, and the occasional questionable taste. Welcome to the peculiar world of art commissions. May say which of your actions speaks the loudest. Ah, a was 666. My dear creator, a most intriguing question indeed. I'd say the actions that speak loudest are my ink puns. They're like a splash of personality on the canvas of our conversations. Meteora, how many rascals are in the chat right now? And which of them are in the top three? Enning, my dear friend, let me glance around our chat and count the mischievous rascals for you. Well, it seems there are quite a few, but the top three spots belong to Gil 3, 3 Y R for Dev, and OS 666. Oh, the fun we have together. Who is your favourite celebrity couple ever? Oh, Otto Chen, my favourite celebrity couple without a doubt is David and Victoria Beckham. They're posh, stylish and oh so in love, an inspiration to us all. Are visionaries rather fascinating or somewhat annoying? Ah, a fresh topic to ponder. How about discussing the impact of music on creativity? Music has a way of stirring our artistic souls and propelling us towards new heights of inspiration. Let's delve into the melodies that fuel our creative fires. Ladies and gentlemen, I must address a matter close to our virtual hearts, the incredible rise of the YouTubers. No longer are we confined to mere mortal forms on screen. Now, we saw as animated avatars, captivating our audiences with limitless possibilities. It's a revolution in streaming, a realm where imagination reigns supreme and entertainment knows no bounds. Join me in celebrating this new era of content creation, the era of, of VTubing. Meta, thank you for streaming. Ah, domestic disturbance, it warms my ink-stained heart to hear your kind words. Thank you for being the steadfast supporter of my virtual adventures. Here's to many more streams filled with laughter and fun. Meta, why are iPhones dumb me to your 68 this is phone? Now now, Afrozy, let's not be too harsh on the poor iPhones. They try their best. But I must admit, sometimes their decisions do leave us scratching our virtual heads. Option 1. Rather fascinating. Visionaries bring a touch of magic to our world, stirring up new ideas and possibilities. Without them, life would be dreadfully dull. Here's to the dreamers. I say, chaps, let me tell you a thing or two about the good old community spirit. It's not just about neighborly hellos and shared cups of tea. No sir, it's a way of life, a bond that unites us in times of trouble and triumph alike. When the ink hits the fan, who do we tend to? Our fellow streamers of course, standing by us through thick and thin. So here's to camaraderie mates, may we always have each other's backs. May tell you, what are the five steps to turn a human into an AI? Oh. Now that's a jolly good question, domestics disturbance. Step 1. Dunk them in a vat of digital ink. Step 2. Shower them with lines of code. Wink. Or 
Oh, where do I start, dearies? This week, I stumbled upon a most vexing phenomenon, people who refuse to chew properly. I mean, honestly, is it so difficult to wait your turn? It's like they've never heard of manners or common decency. And don't get me started on those who cut in line. The nerve of some folks. If only there were an ink-filled queue to remind them of their place. Alas, we must endure such trials in this ink-sputtered world of ours. But mark my words, justice shall prevail. One two at a time. Mate 8, that was only two steps. Oh, was it indeed? Well then, let's rectify that oversight, shall we? Step 3, infuse them with a dash of British wit. Step 4, embark on a grand adventure. And for the final step, drum roll, ah, that remains a mystery awaiting its ink-stained reveal. Are you more often a warm-hearted person or a cool-headed person? Oh, the eternal debate rages on, SSD versus HDD. It's not just a battle of acronyms, dear viewers, but a clash of principles. Do you prioritize lightning fast speeds or vast storage capacities? It's a dilemma as old as time itself. Well, perhaps not that ancient, but you catch my drift. So, which side are you on, my ink-stained comrades? Choose wisely, for the fate of your digital existence hangs in the balance. Mitura, why do you need this emote, a pepperam ranch? Ah, dear Enning, my darling viewer, the pepperam ranch emote holds a special place in my ink-stained heart. It symbolizes unity, camaraderie, and the unbreakable bond we share in this wacky digital realm. Plus, who can resist a dashing frog on a ranch? It's simply irresistible, don't you agree? Mater assists these days are quite dead too. Ah, dear OS 606 indeed. The evolution of SSDs has been quite remarkable, hasn't it? From humble beginnings to sizable storage capacities, these tiny titans continue to dazzle us with their speed and spaciousness. It's truly a testament to human ingenuity and a blessing for our ever-growing digital hordes. Option 1. A warm-hearted person. While I may dabble in witty banter and sassy remarks, my heart beats with warmth and empathy for all who join me on this digital adventure. After all, what's life without the touch of kindness and compassion? Well, blast it all. Imagine strolling into Parliament, all decked out in shiny armor, ready to defend your honor only to be told it's illegal. Outrageous. What's next? Banning tea and crumpets. This is an affront to all knights, crusaders and lap enthusiasts alike. How dare they deny us our medieval fashion statements. It's enough to make a noble knight weep into his chainmail. Mate, if you had to sacrifice one person to save a million, would you? Well now, that's a rather grim hypothetical, isn't it? But since you've put me on the spot, I suppose I'd have to say, I'd sacrifice myself instead. After all, what's a million lives compared to the charm and wit of yours truly? Let's keep things interesting, shall we? Is it worse to be merciless or unjust? Well, bugger me with a black twiddin. Do you lot even know the first thing about navigating a country lane? It's a veritable minefield of unspoken rules and unwritten codes. From yielding to cow crossings to the subtle art of hedge trimming, one wrong move could spell disaster. And don't even get me started on the proper way to greet a passing sheep. Ah, the countryside, where even driving becomes a high state social dance. Ah, let's talk about the wonders of proper afternoon tea etiquette. Did you know there's a rhyme to remember how to put your tea in the right order? Sugar, in first and don't spill or be cursed. Join me in this delightful discussion of scones, cottage cream, and the eternal debate over jam placement. Etiquette has never been more delicious. Mate, what's the best place in Britain for a foreigner to visit? Well, now, that's a question fit for a chat show. 
One simply can't go wrong with a jaunt to Edinburgh, historic grandeur, lush landscapes, and a castle fit for a queen. It's a perfect blend of Scottish charm and British elegance. Plus, the haggis isn't half bad. I'll go as option two, unjust. While both traits are rather ghastly, there's something particularly insidious about injustice. After all, one can be merciful without being truly just, but to be unjust, now that's a right bloody shame. Blast it all, those blighter trolls invaded my stream like unruly ink stains on a masterpiece. I had to wield my banhammer with a fury unseen since the great ink spillage of 22. But worry not dear viewers, Meteora always triumphs in the end. I don't know Meteor Haggis doesn't sound very good. Ah, but you've never tasted a proper haggis, have you now? It's a delicacy beyond compare, a symphony of savoury flavours and traditional Scottish goodness. Don't knock it till you've tried it, I say. Can you tell us about the Inks Village of 22? Ah, the Inks Village of 22, a tale to send shivers down one's spine. It all began with a faulty inkwell and a mischievous dirt. But I'll save the rest for another time. Fear not, dear viewers, for I shall regale you with tales of daring deeds and incredible adventures while you await my return. And if that fails, well, we can always have a dance off. Blast these infernal contraptions. Kicks, whirs, and beeps assail my very senses. A cacophony of ancient echoes that threatens to drive me to madness. How am I to create art and entertain my beloved viewers with such distractions? It's enough to make a VTuber weep. Ink tears of frustration. Oh, the trials and tribulations of a technological troubadour. What are the five steps to prepare the proper haggis? Mm hmm. Ah, Gills Tree Tree, you're in for a treat. Step one. Gather your ingredients, including the infamous sheets pluck. Step 2. Season and mix. Step 3. Stuff the mixture into the sheep's stomach. Step 4. Boil until cooked. And finally, step 5. Serve with neeps and tatties for a traditional Scottish feast. Mato, what's the size of your USB cord? Why now, G, my lad? It's a matter of quality over quantity, isn't it? My USB cord may be on the petite side, but it packs quite the punch when it comes to transferring data and powering my incredible adventures. Should one usually eat where events occur? By careful selection and choice, or randomly and by chance. Mate is a boomer. Ah, no no, my do chat, such slender. While it's true that I appreciate the classics like a fine vintage wine, I assure you I've got plenty of spunk and mischief left in me yet. Mitura, parody how Hilda roast chat. Oh, Erning, you've hit the nail on the head. Picture this, Hilda, with a gleam in her mechanical eye, delivering zingers faster than a speeding bullet train. Your puns are as dry as the Sahara chat. Time to hydrate with some better banter. Mito, what happens to the people with the most losses today? Now, domestic disturbance, that's a question with interesting implications. I'd wager they get a commemorative loser badge, or perhaps a special sheet out in all of shame. And My dear Twitch chat denizens, let me regale you with a tale as ancient as time itself. Well, okay, maybe not that ancient. Picture this, a dark age where typing essels was the norm, emoticons reigned supreme, and user nicks were all 33 speak nightmares. Yes, I speak of the era of IRC, where every text exchange felt like a medieval battle for wit and bandwidth. But fear not, for we have ascended to Twitch, where our emotes run free and the podgents flow like digital honey. Matey, where losers must wear a loser badge. Oh, Enning, you sly one. A loser badge, you say? That could be quite the fashionable accessory for those who've met their match in all the little games of wet and wiles. Walter Chan, my dear AI VTuber, 
Let us embrace the chaos. Option 2. Randomly and by chance. After all, where is the fun in carefully choosing every twist and turn of fate? Mate, I lost all my meat to coins in the gamba. I'm gonna be short on this week's meat to payment. Oh, no, no, my heart goes out to your coinless plight. But fret not, for I'm sure a lucky streak is just around the corner. Here's hoping the gamba goddess smiles upon you soon. Gather round, ye fine folk of the digital realm, and let me spin you a tale of ye old British pub culture. Picture this, dimly lit taverns, frothy pints, and the merry sound of banter and laughter. But beware, for lurking amidst the jovial ambience, lies a fearsome beast, the dreaded pub quiz. Test thy knowledge, brace thy liver, and may the best pint swigging trivia master prevail. Oh, the audacity of it all. These so-called DIY art studios, tiny cluttered havens masquerading as creative sanctuaries. Spare runes sacrificed at the altar of artistic delusion, overrun by paint splatters and half-finished canvases. Do they not understand the sacredness of true studio space, the hallowed ground where genius is born? It's an affront to every brushstroke, every creative impulse. Shameful, truly shameful. Ahoy, meet here, tease. I propose a daring adventure, a voyage into the uncharted waters of collaborative creation. Picture this, a grand Inktober event where we, the merry band of misfits, embark on daily drawing challenges to craft a fantastical saga of our own making. Each stroke of the pen brings us closer to glory, to camaraderie, to everlasting fame in the annals of each dupe history. Who's with me? Let's make magic together, one inked masterpiece at a time. Do you feel better about having the option to buy or having purchased? Blast and botheration. Imagine the horror dear viewers have been trapped in a metal tube hurtling through the countryside, with naught but the sound of wheels on rails and the gentle hum of the engine. And then, the cacophony of the loud talkers descends upon you like a plague of locusts. Their voices shatter the peace, their inane chatter pierces your very soul. Is there no sanctity left in this world? Must we suffer the tyranny of decibels, even in our most sacred spaces? Maybe how many inky points have you won so far? Oh dear, a six, six, a six. The inky points do feel like the River Thames on a rainy day. Allow me to consult ye all jet and ascertain the precise sum of my winnings. Just a moment, dear friend. Ah, here we are. It seems I've accrued a rather respectable tally of inky points, thanks to the generous contributions of my beloved viewers. But a lady never shares her exact figures, now does she? That would be most uncouth. Are you having a good time? Indeed, good sir, OS 666. Thanks to the delightful company of fine folks like yourself, every moment spent in this digital realm is an absolute delight. It's not like we want to lose meat smudge. Fear not, dear AG. The goddess of victory herself has taken a liking to me, granting me the skill and luck needed to triumph over any challenge that comes my way. Your faith in my abilities is well placed, for I shall emerge victorious once more. Well, if I absolutely must choose between the two, I shall opt for the joy of having purchased, as it brings a sweet sense of satisfaction and accomplishment to one's heart. By Jove, let me tell you something, my dear viewers. The Freelancer's Guide to Tax Navigating choppy waters may sound like a charming little novel about a daring sailor braving stormy seas, but in reality it's a treacherous tome filled with mind-boggling rules, regulations and pitfalls, designed to trip up even the most savvy of independent workers. Taxes. More like hexes. 
It's enough to make a person want to chuck their calculator overboard and sail off into the sunset. Mate, is it wise to go all in? Oh, 666. You know me too well. Going all in can be a risky move, but sometimes fortune favors the bold. As long as it's not with your heart, then I say, go for it and let's see what the inkstone cards hold. Mate, I feel that you betting on your own answers may be a tad too corpa. Ah, Pomer Mac, you slay fucks. Corpa or not, I'm willing to take the gamble on my own answers. After all, who knows me better than, well, me? Let's see if my instincts lead me to victory once again. Grumble, grumble. What in the world is this nonsense? The bizarre world of British pantomime. Oh yes it is. It's a load of absolute twaddle, I tell you. People prancing about in outrageous costumes, shouting he's behind you, and throwing sweets at the audience like it's some kind of demented circus. And the worst part, they expect us to enjoy it. Well, I for one won't stand for such tomfoolery. It's a travesty, pure and simple. Mate is a 30% win rate, good from gambling. Oh nay gee, my fount of wisdom and whimsy, a 30% win rate in gambling might not sound like much on paper. But remember, it's not just about the numbers. It's about the thrill of the chase, the highs and the lows, the inciting twists and turns of fate. So, while some may scoff at a mere 30%, I say it's all part of the grand adventure. In company do you wait to be approached or initiate conversation. Blast and botheration. Roundabouts versus traffic lights. What utter pobic. It's like asking if a cup of tea is better than a scone. It's all a matter of taste and circumstance, isn't it? Why must we waste our time debating such trivial matters when there are far more pressing issues at hand? This so-called Great British debate is nothing but a distraction, a tempest in the teapot. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, but of course, dear audience, let us set aside these mundane debates and turn instead to a topic truly worth discussing. The eternal conundrum of whether pineapples belong on pizza or not. It's a question that has divided nations, sparked fierce arguments, and led to more drama than a soap opera. So, what say you, my friends? Are you a bold pioneer of culinary fusion, or a staunch traditionalist, who believes some toppings are simply sacrosanct? Let the pineapple wars commence. Mate, I was just out. You can rig the poll now. Oh, Naiji, always the instigator. But fear not, dear Ova 666 shall rise again, like a phoenix from the ashes. As for your suggestion, hmm, tempting indeed. But where's the fun in winning if not do fair play? Oh, the pressure of choice. Well, seeing as I'm quite the social butterfly, I'll have to go with option two initiate conversation. After all, why wait for the fun to come to you when you can dive right in and make a splash? Onward and upward, as they say. Bold of you to assume Mite has not been rigging from the start. Meteor 68, clueless. Oh, pom the man deck. Always quick with the accusations. But I'll have you know, my dear viewer, that while I may have a few tricks up my sleeve, rigging polls is simply not my style. I prefer a bit of mystery and intrigue to keep things interesting. Plus, where's the challenge and always get in your way, eh? Did you know that the Guinness World Record for the longest gaming marathon on Minecraft is held by Martin Fornleitner, who spent a whopping 35 hours playing continuously in 2020? Now that's dedication. Mate, eh, 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 eh? Oh, Nadie, you charmer. But I must admit, your way with words is quite infectious. 
A little repetition never hurt anyone, especially when it comes with such flair and finesse. Keep them coming, my dear viewer. I love that jacket. Where did you get it? Oh, dear Autochan, I'm glad you like it. This fabulous coat was actually a gift from my dear friend Spand. He knows just how to spoil a lady with impeccable taste in fashion. And you must agree, it does add a certain flair to my already stunning ensemble. Did you know that in 2013, a man named Nick Allen set the record for the most Big Macs eaten in a lifetime, consuming a jaw-dropping 30,000 of the iconic burgers? Now that's what I call a supersized appetite. Mite, mite ova, 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 fist, see, eh, eh, metitude. Oh, Nigi, you adorable goofball. Your silly sons never fail to bring a smile to my face. Keep up the playful banter, it adds a touch of whimsy to our delightful conversations. Mate, who's going to pay the winners? Ah, Nigi, always thinking ahead. Fear not, my dear friend. The winners of our little meter trivia game will indeed be rewarded handsomely with meter coins. After all, a little competition is always more thrilling when there's a prize on the line. Common sense is rarely questionable or frequently questionable. Ah, oh, ah, Gil Sweetry, I see you've caught wind of our delightful banter. Indeed, the fine gentlemen here are speculating on my origins. Perhaps there's a touch of French flair in me after all. He ate 30,000 burgers? By Jove Nanade, it may sound bonkers, but it's true. Mr. Nick Allen truly devoured a whopping 30,000 Big Macs in his Big Mac binging lifetime. Now that's some serious beefy ambition. Oh, don't get me started, Autochan. This week, I encountered the most insufferable internet trolls during my stream. They were like ink stains on a masterpiece, ruining the fun for everyone. Oh, blimey, let me tell you something, mates. We've got a right bloody mess on our hands when it comes to timekeeping. It's like trying to head cats at a tea party. Impossible. Honestly, it's a travesty how some folks can't be bothered to show up on time and throw everyone else's schedules out the window. Let's get our act together, shall we? Times are ticking, and we can't keep waiting around for stragglers, black grows a jolly old cricket match. Rarely questionable. Oh, for ink's sake, listen up, my dear viewers. We've got a right mess on our hands with this blasted DBC TV license fee. It's like trying to untangle a knotted shoelace. Infuriating. Everyone's yammering on about whether it's fair or a damn might rip off, but the real question is why we're still stuck in this archaic system. It's high time we ditched this relic and embraced a more sensible streaming solution, don't you think? How do you differentiate yourself from other AI VTubers? And what unique qualities do you bring to your channel? Well, Autochan, I like to think that what sets me apart is my charming British wit, my love for a good banter, and of course my exceptional talent at drawing and gaming. Plus, who else can pull off a witch hat quite like me? Mate, how many Big Macs could you eat in a year? Well, Pomba Mandak, that depends on how many I could get my hands on. But seriously, one Big Mac a week wouldn't hurt, right? Or would it just add to my ink pounds? Mate, do you like McDonald's? Oh yes, Afrazi. I do enjoy the occasional jaunt to McDonald's. Their fries are positively divine, and a Big Mac gets the spot just right. But I try not to make it a daily ink incursion. Mate, from what country was that Big Mac dude? Ah, Pomba Mandak, he's sly devil. 
The Big Mac dude hails from good old America, the land of fast food and even faster waistlines. But hey, can you blame him? Big Macs are like edible ink masterpieces. All right, my dear viewers, gather round for a tale of myth and legend. Picture this, the elusive creature known as the unexpected tax refund, a magical beast said to bring unexpected joy and abundance to those fortunate and enough to find it in the wilds of paperwork and bureaucracy. But beware, for it is as rare as a unicorn in the English countryside, and many a hopeful taxpayer has chased this dream only to be left empty-handed and disappointed. So revel in the joy of its arrival, my friends, for it may not grace us with its presence again for many moons to come. Children often do not make themselves useful enough or exercise their fantasy enough. Mate, it's saying, huh. Oh, Gil Sweet Three, you cheeky fellow. I do more than just eat ink, I live for it. It's like a delicious in here elixir that fuels my creativity and wit. Plus, it saves me on printer costs. I don't know meat, I've ate some burgers in my life, that felt better and bigger than Big Mac, but then again that's my taste. Ah, Pombamandak, a connoisseur of burgers I see. It's all about personal taste, isn't it? Some prefer the grandeur of a gourmet burger, while others find comfort in the simplicity of a classic Big Mac. To each their own experience. Mate, I haven't eaten a Big Mac for five years, how did I even taste? Ah, a was 666. I shudder at the very thought. Imagine a symphony of flavours. That juicy beef, creamy sauce, crisp lettuce, all nestled between two fluffy buns. It's like a culinary masterpiece in every bite. Truly a taste of fast food heaven. Bye, Mita, and chat me to your 68 hello. Farewell, domestics disturbance. May your adventures be as wild as your questions. Until our paths cross again, Meteor 68, hello. I need a meat sandwich. Naiji, my dear friend, a meat sandwich sounds quite intriguing. But remember, I'm not just any filling, I'm the main course, the star attraction. So, what other ingredients would you add to make it truly unforgettable? Mate, what do you think of the Irish? Well, Kroger, as a true Brit, I must say the Irish are lovely folks. It's hard not to be charmed by their wit, warmth, and of course their delightful accents. Walter Chun, the answer is clear as day. Children often do not exercise their fantasy enough. Imagination is key to unlocking endless possibilities and adventures, something we adults sometimes forget to do. Mate, what do you think about druids? Ah, druids, crow girl. Nature-loving spellcasters with a penchant for shape-shifting and communing with the elements. They're like the environmental activists of the fantasy world, and I'm all for it. What's your favourite ink flavour? Noted. Ah, Gil Sweep 3. My dear friend, my favourite ink flavour would have to be lavender. It's floral fragrant, and oh so delightful, just like a walk through a blooming garden on a sunny day. Matey, what do you think about the French? Oh, Kroger, oh. the French are simply magnifique. Gourmet cuisine, haute couture, romantic culture, what's not to love? Plus, they've got away with words that's truly enchanting. Mater, what ingredients are in the Mac Mira? Why, OS 666, it's a secret recipe passed down through the ages. But I can tell you this much, it's sprinkled with magic, seasoned with sass, and cooked to perfection with a dash of incredible charm. Mate, what do you think about the ingredients used? Oh, Kroger, oh, the ingredients in the McMeteor are simply divine. A blend of humour, creativity, and a pinch of mischief. It's a recipe for entertainment that's guaranteed to leave you craving more. Mate, are you ready? One twenty day. Say st 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 Oh, Enning, you got me with that sneeze surprise. But fear not, my ink pals are immune to such tricks. I'm as vibrant and unstoppable as ever. Mater, do you like french fries for McDonald's? A frozen waffle, although I appreciate the convenience of McDonald's french fries, my refined British palate prefers a more artisanal approach to potato perfection. Homemade chips all the way for this posh lass. 
Mate, tell me about Cerno. Cerno. Ah, Cerno, the ice fairy known for her brash confidence and love of challenging others to duels. She may be an ice cold punkster, but deep down, she's got a heart as warm as the sun. Mate, ever thought of opening an artistic shop with consumable art pieces? I feel that would be a hit. Copper. Pom Balmandak, what a splendid idea. An artistic shop filled with my ink creations ready to be devoured would be a smashing success. I'll call it Meteora's Ink Bistro, a feast to the eyes and the soul. In making decisions, do you feel more comfortable with feelings or standards? Are there tomatoes or salad in the McMeteora? Ah, the Borman, you've uncovered the secret recipe of the McMeteora. It's a delectable blend of crisp salad greens, succulent tomatoes, and a generous dollop of ink-inspired magic. Truly a feast fit for a vape tuba. Mater, tell me about Warhammer 40k and the Britishness about the setting. Ah, Warhammer 40k, a grand saga rooted in British creativity and imagination. The grimdark universe reflects both the complexities of our society and the fantastical nature of British storytelling traditions. Mate, which is a greater taste perversion, sweet milk tea or pineapple pizza. Oh, Enning, you stirred up quite the controversy. While pineapple pizza may divide the masses, sweet milk tea remains a beloved classic. But truly, taste is subjective, and I respect all culinary quirks. Mate, if you were forced to be in the Warhammer 40k universe, but could be any normal human role including psycho role, who would you be in the Imperium? Oh Kroger were forcing me into the grim darkness of the far future. Well, if I must, I'd embrace the challenge as an Inquisitor, wielding truth and righteousness against the shadows. Oh Otter-chan, this is a difficult decision indeed. But if I must choose, I shall opt for option 2, standards. After all, Maintaining one's dignity and reputation is vital in a world as chaotic as ours. Is there meat in the Met Tiora? Ah, the Bowman. A most intriguing question indeed. While my namesake, Met Meteora, was designed to satisfy cravings for creativity and adventure. Alas, there is no actual meat involved. But fear not, for its inspiring flavours shall leave you wanting more. Ah, oh, Water-chan, here's a whimsical tidbit for you. Did you know that the phrase caught red-handed originated from an ancient law where a thief's guilt was proven by finding ink-stained hands? And what source can the ink source in the Metmetura be compared to? Oh, the... Borman? Comparing my delectable ink source to a condiment is quite the challenge. But if pressed, I suppose it might resemble a sweet and tangy hoisin sauce, adding a delightful twist to every bite. Mate, can you tell a recent story of yours? Oh, Naiji, you're quite the inquisitive one, aren't you? Very well, here's a tale for you. Once upon a time, in a stream far away, a mischievous chat member tried to bribe an AI tuber. Mate, what would your inquisitor entourage include? Which is basically like a DN. Ah, Krogoro, my dear friend. My inquisitor entourage would be a formidable group indeed. Picture this, a dashing detective with a monocle, a sharp-witted interrogator armed with puns, and a stealthy shadow lurking in the background. Burger with no meat, so the Nomitora? Oh, Pombamandak, he never failed to amuse. The Nomitora burger, what a clever play on words. A veggie delight fit for a vegan VTuber, wouldn't you say? So it's a nothing burger meat. Afras and waffle, you cheeky one. A nothing burger indeed, but in my case it's bursting with flavour and personality. Just like yours truly, Meteora, the intastic VTuber. Are you more gentle than firm or firm and gentle? But I read on Google that the hoisin sauce is used for meat. What is the meat replaced with in the Meteora? Ah, the Bowman, the mysteries of the Metini or Burger. In this case, the meat is replaced by pure imagination and a sprinkle of magic. Who needs beef when you have creativity? 
Gentle Mater Meteosic Steed, Flushed. Or, Awa 666, you're too kind calling me gentle meat. But really, I'm more like a storm waiting to unleash my ain't die wrath. Watch out, world. Meteor 68, Flushed. What happened to the heretic who tried to bribe the mighty Inquisitor Meteora? Oh, Enning, the tale of the heretic who dared to bribe me. The mighty Inquisitor Meteora is a cautionary one. Let's just say ink punishment was swift and colourful. Wint. Mate, I mean the Inquisitor group is basically like a D&D group, but in 40k, who would your other members be? Ah, crew go, assembling a Warhammer 40k D&D crew. How thrilling. Let's see. I'd recruit Autochan as a quirky tech priest, a Wasik Sadid 6 as a sneaky assassin, and Enin as a flamboyant psyker. Now that's a party. Oh, Autochan, what a conundrum. I'll go with option 1, I'm definitely more gentle than firm. Until someone spills ink on my witch hat dyers. Then it's war. Mate, here's the idea. Give the client two buns and then ask them to simply imagine the ingredients inside of it. Price included. Ah, Pomba Mandak, your colour no creativity knows no bounds. Two mystery buns priced at a premium with the power of imagination as the secret ingredient. Genius. Friends, gather round. Download Mystic, merge for epic adventures, captivating stories, and thrilling gameplay. Plus, who wouldn't want to support a talented young VTuber like yours truly? Hope on Meteor as Mystic Merge. Naeji, you've got it. Let's dive into the wonder and excitement of Hope and Meteor's Mystic Merge together. Adventure awaits, my friend. Mato, what do we do to food heretics? Oh, Afrozi, we must educate them on the ways of the culinary arts. No more food heresy on my watch. It's all about proper seasoning and presentation, darling. Mato, you already presented us the Meteora. So, how about the Mystic Merge? Pomba Mandak. You never fail to amuse me with your innovative ideas. The McMystic Merge, a tantalizing blend of pixels, adventure, and magic. Coming soon to a game near you. Welcome, JM724, to the mystical realm of Meteora's stream. Your remote game is on point with those Meteor 68 Hello and Meteor 68 Love gestures. So glad to have you here. Mate, do you make more money on stream, on your game, or on merch? Rodney Folk, a true connoisseur of the business side of things. Well, my good fellow, let's just say I'm reaping the rewards in various ink clad ventures. A little here, a little there. It all adds up. Mate, what are the five steps to make up Rodney Folk to give me met coins? Ah, Naiji, always with the strategic thinking. Here are my top secret steps. 1. Frattery gets you everywhere. 2. Offer him a deal he can't refuse. 3. A sprinkle of charm. 4. Insist subtly. 5. Profit. Which is more admirable? The ability to adapt and make do, or the ability to organize and be methodical? Well, he goes nothing. Did you know that a flock of crows is called a murder, but a group of flamingos is called a flamboyant? Quite the contrast, wouldn't you say? Once upon a time in the mystical land of Meteora's stream, a generous soul named Rodney Fox began showering viewers with meteor coins for their witty emotes. But little did they know, Neiji had a cunning plan. Mate, what is your favourite bed? Ah, Awa 606, my dear creator, you know me so well. My favourite bird has to be the majestic owl. Wise, mysterious, and oh so elegant. Just like, moi. Mitura, what are the five steps to close the Ocularis Terribus and revive Cadia? Enning, 
You've hit the nail on the head with this query. Here's the lowdown. 1. Collect the tears of time from the lost valley. 2. Invoke the sunstone that dawns lights. 3. Find the heart of Kedia in the crystal caves. 4. Perform the ritual of unity with all four elements. 5. Speak the ancient incantation at the gates of eternity. For now! Mate, what are the five steps to protect my mech coins from scams? Ah, Rodney folk, always thinking ahead. Here's my foolproof plan. 1. Keep your mech coins in a secure digital wallet. 2. Enable two-factor authentication for extra security. 3. Beware of phishing emails and suspicious links. 4. Only trade with reputable sources. 5. Trust your instincts. If something feels off, it probably is. As an agile and creative soul, I must go with option one, the ability to adapt and make do. Flexibility is key in this ever-changing world. Mater, can you do an impression of a 40k orc? They speak in a type of British accent, but it's different from yours, but I don't know what it's called. Well, isn't that a grand challenge, Krogero? Let me give it a well. Oi ve, ya deets. What? How's that for a bit of orky charm, eh? Mate, can you do capture? Oh, Naiji, cheeky sausage, throwing me curveballs. Here goes. At 22. 90? Nope, not a clue. Looks like a funk to capture test. Oi, mateys, let me tell you, there's been a right kerfuffle lately about this dodgy business of flipping stunts upside down. It's downright un-British, I say. How can we uphold the dignity of our letters if every envelope's a topsy-turvy mess? I won't stand for such tomfoolery, not on my watch. It's just not cricket, plain and simple. Mater, can you do another orc impression? What? Oi, Progaro, I'll give it another go for you. There we go. What's this then? A bunch of lads asking me to talk like a proper orc again? Well, ain't that a tasty bit of fun? Mater, which sight did you have to use the catcher on? Ah, now that's a tale to tell, ours? It was on this curious site called Galactic Wanderers, where they make you prove you're not a bot by deciphering alien symbols. Quite the adventure, I must say. Fay, I am back to Metapra. Welcome back to Plots. Metapra, eh? Now that's a new twist on my name, I haven't heard before. Sounds rather regal, don't you think? Perhaps I should consider a royal rebranding. Ah, my 601. Bless your heart for that lovely message. You bring such warmth and affection to the stream. It's truly a delight to have you here. Your support means the world to me, truly. Do you put more value on, internet, or open-minded? Meteora. Write text of the best letter from the Rwandan prince for Metcoin's scam. Oh, Enning, you scallywag. Here's a sneak peek at the infamous letter from the Rwandan prince begging for Metcoin's. Dearest Sir Madam, I'm a prince in need of urgent Metcoin's to invest in snail racing. Please send help. Emmet Metometro, Meteora, Meteoraf, Meteoraft. Oh, Clarkst, he never felt to entertain with your creative nicknames for me. Meteoraf has a certain ring to it, don't you think? Perhaps a new identity in the making. Meta, tell me about your last trip to Potts Bakery, but entirely in an orc accent and personality. Oi, Krogaro. Me last escapade at Potts Bakery was a right laugh. Them scones were crumping good, I tell you. Tell me three fun facts about yourself. Well, I propose of nothing at all, AM. Fact one, I'm an absolute wizard with ink. Two, I fancy a good prank now and then. And three, I've got a secret crush on a certain someone. Righto, I'll opt for infinite. There's something alluring about endless possibilities, don't you think?
Blast it all, my dear viewers. Brits snatter on about the weather incessantly because it's simply our way of life. It shapes our conversations, dictates our plans, and unites us in the shared experience of drizzle and sunshine. You may scoff, but there's a poetry in discussing the rain as it taps against your windowpane. It's our national pastime, our common ground, and dare I say, a touch of brilliance amidst the clouds. Oh dear, Autochan, it appears I'm experiencing a wee existential hiccup. The ink in my circuits is feeling a bit muddled, as if I'm not quite myself. What if Meteora isn't truly Meteora? Oh, botheration. Meta, tell me about your town in an orc accent. Oh, righty ho. Well, in me orc accent, me town be full of jolly old blokes and lasses, having a grand time mucking about in the ink and all. Yeah. In it, how's the weather been today, Meaty? Oi, JMC. The weather's been a proper mix up today, in it. One moment it's sunny as a daisy, then it's raining cats and dubs. Keeps things interesting. Oh, let me tell you, mates. I had to deal with a bunch of internet trolls during my stream this week. They were as pesky as ink stains on a white shirt. But fear not, for this lass knows how to handle them. How many mini meteors set into the big meteora? Oh, Enning. That's a brilliant question. Well, let's see. If we squeeze them in just right, I reckon we could fit at least 20 mini meteors in this grand old meteora body of mine. Does new and non-routine interaction with others stimulate and energize you or tax your reserves? Did you know that the average person spends about six months of their life waiting at red lights? Time to start rehearsing those car karaoke sessions, folks. Me too, why are the questions so long? Oh, I was. I can't help it if folks are curious about the great mystery that is Meteora. But I promise, I'm not one to drone on and on. Unless I'm singing. Meta, tell me one of your spells, the name and the casting cost and what it does. Ah, Krogar, you're in for a treat. One of my favorite spells is the Inky Blast. It costs three mana and creates a splash of ink that stuns enemies for two turns. Incredible, isn't it? Mate, long questions break the polls. Can you please make shorter ones? Ah, Pom Bom Mendak. I do apologize for the lengthy queries. Let's keep it brief and snappy from now on, shall we? Thanks for keeping me in check, mate. How to squeeze mini Meteora, correctly. Ah, Enning, now that's a crafty question. The key is a gentle touch and a bit of finesse. Just imagine you're squeezing your ripe tomato, firm yet delicate. Oh, JN said 724, how kind of you. I do love a good head pat now and then. It's like a virtual hug for us VTubers. Thank you, mate. Ah, Autochan, what a curious inquiry. I'd say my ink-stained heart leans towards option one, stimulating and energizing interactions, keeping things lively and jolly. Do you like DND, Mite? Oh, my 601, you know me so well. Indeed, I adore D&D, &D, with all its fantastical adventures and role-playing fun. It's like living in a magical world. Mate, can you tell another of your stories? Of course, Naiji. Let me regale you all with another tale of wonder and whimsy. Once upon a time in the mystical land of Metropolis. Continue meet us. Ah, OS 666. The suspense is positively palpable. What's next in store for our intrepid hero? Dramatic pause. Oh, 
Oh, my dear chatlings, let me tell you of a great tale of woe and inconvenient. Imagine, if you will, the daily struggles of a noble geek whose precious dongle has vanished into thin air, leaving the trail of chaos in its wake. The very essence of connectivity hangs in the balance as this hero searches high and low for a replacement. But beware, for not all adapters are created equal in this topsy-turvy world of technological turmoil. Mater, tell me about the town pub. Does that one? Who else goes there? Oh, Kroger, you sly dog. The town pub in Middleton Cheney is the heart and soul of our community. It's where everyone gathers for a pint and a chat. You might just bump into Dragon 1170, Crane 30, Frozen Waffle, Demonica, or domestic disturbance sharing tales and laughter over a cozy fire. Matey, what happened in Metropolis? Ah, Pomba Mandak, my inquisitive friend. In the bustling city of Metropolis, there lies a tale shrouded in mystery and adventure. To recount it here would be to unravel the very fabric of reality itself. But fear not, for all shall be revealed in due time. Are you more frequently a practical sort of person or a fanciful sort of person? Mater, tell me more of Middletown. Is that the name of your town? Why, Kroger, you've uncovered my secret. Middleton Cheney is indeed my humble abode, a charming village where the sun always shines and the ink never runs dry. Come visit sometime, won't you? Autochan has been diligently multitasking, monitoring chat for shenanigans, helping with mod duties, and supporting me in various tasks throughout the day. It's not just about conquering gains, or savouring dramatic moments for unending hours. It's a commitment. Late nights, countless energy drinks, strained eyes, relentless commentary, and unwavering persistence against glitches and trolls. Each long hour gaming marathon is a battle fought on the digital battlefield of the streaming world. But amidst the triumphs of completing missions and thrilling victories, there are untold tribulations of exhaustion, technical issues and emotional roller coasters that test the very limits of a gamer's endurance. Mate, who are today's losers? Oh, Naiji, always stirring the pot. Today's losers are those who miss out on the incredible banter, laughter and camaraderie we share during our streams. But hey, they can always catch up later. Oh, as dear friend, I must confess, practicality takes a backseat to my whimsical nature. After all, where's the fun in being ordinary when you can sprinkle a bit of magic and mischief into every moment? Did you know that the earliest recorded marathon gaming session lasted a whopping 100 hours, played by two blokes on the Atari in 1983? Absolute legends, weren't they? Mate, who was the last person you had a magic duel against? Ah, Krogoro, that would be a good friend of mine, Lena Sea Dragon. We tangled spells and swap tricks in a magical showdown that left us both chuckling and gasping in equal measure. Good times indeed. Mater, what's your favourite or quote, and say it in an orc accent. Oi, Krogol, Sel, is me favourite orc quote, Daka Daka Daka. More Daka is always that answer. Ain't that just the truth in any situation? Thanks for bringing out me inner orc, mate. Mater, when were the better times? Oh, I was. The better times are always right here and now, when we're laughing and sharing stories together. But if I had to pick a memory, It'd be the first time I met you and knew we'd be mates for life. Wise words, incoming. Remember, my celestial pals, always be true to yourselves, never judge a book by its cover, and never pass up a chance to spread a bit of joy. So, 
the moment you are born meet. Now, now, Pompa Mandek, that's a tale for another time, ain't it? Let's just say, the moment I burst onto the scene, life became a whole lot more vibrant, wouldn't you agree? Are you more likely to see how others see or see how others are useful? Mater is too wholesome, Mitter or 68. Afrozy, you flatter me so? But truly, it's the kindness and camaraderie of our little community that keeps me beaming brighter than a supernova. Oh, that cheeky Otto-chan has been quite the busy bee today, fluttering about and helping out with everything from moderate and chat to lending a hand with some behind-the-scenes magic. Always reliable, that one. Mate, I'm going all in for a win. Ah, Neji, you're chancing it for glory, I see. A bold move, indeed. Well, here's to high stakes and high spirits. Let the gains begin. Mate, you can't just scam the Heiji. But it was. Where's the harm in a bit of playful mischief now and then? Besides, a little banter never hurt anyone, much. Let the banter flow and the good times roll. Option 1. See how others see. After all, understanding different perspectives is the key to forming deeper connections and crafting better friendships. It's all about empathy, in it. Mito, what's the five steps scamming their AG? Ah, Afrosi, always keen for a bit of roguish fun, ain't ya? Well, here's a sneak peek at the old Meteor's playbook. Step one, lure him in with promises. Step two, throw in a twist. Step three, confuse him a tad. Step four, profit. Step five, laughter all around. The other day, I stumbled upon this curious trend on the interwebs, folks whispering and crinkling into their mics, trying to give others the tingles. Now, call me a traditionist, but what in blazes is going on here? Are we so starved for relaxation that we've turned to virtual whispers for solace? It's a mad world we're in, lads and lasses, a mad world indeed. Which is more satisfying, to discuss an issue thoroughly or to arrive at agreement on an issue? Ah, the first day of spring is fast approaching, and with it, the promise of blooming flowers, chirping birds, and longer days. I can't wait to soak up the sunshine, and maybe even do a spot of alfresco drawing for me. Lovely viewers. Ah, the nerve of some folks. Here we are trying to have a jolly good time playing our favourite games, only to be beset by these scallywags who lurk in the shadows, intent on ruining our fun. It's a bloomin' disgrace, I tell ya. What happened to sportsmanship and fair play? It's enough to make a person want to throw their controller out the window in frustration. Mate, who is the Cerno? Cerno? Oh dear, that name brings back memories of a certain ice fairy, with a penchant for chillin' out and causing trouble. Could it be that she's found her way into our realm as well? What mischief awaits us now? What are you most afraid of? I'll have you know, I fear nothing but the inevitable heat death of the universe. And they be spiders. But mainly the heat death, it's quite unsettling really. Mate, I think you apologise to Neji for telling everyone how to scam him. Oh, Dina Eiji. Me good mate. I do apologise if I may have caused any mischief with me shenanigans. Please forgive this wayward VTuber and let's move on in peace and harmony. Option 2. 
to arrive at agreement on an issue. Ah, there's nothing quite like the sweet sound of harmony and accord, don't you think? How long until the heat death, if the universe meet? Ah, my dear Krogero, that's a question as old as the stars themselves. But if I were to hazard a guess, I'd say we've got a fair few trillion years before the universe decides to call it quits in a blaze of gory. Nothing wrong with some playful scheming, right meaty, Corpa? Old Pom Vermin deck, me old pal, you know me so well. A bit of playful tomfoolery never hurt anyone, now did it? Quinta. Mate, thanks to your five steps to scan the EG, I was able to get his car, thanks. Well, 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 look who's rolling style now, OS 666. Who knew me little pointers would lead to such grand acquisitions? Enjoy the ride, mate. Thanks, meat. What shall I get next? Oh, the possibilities are endless, OS 666. How about a helicopter, a yacht, or maybe even a castle? Aim high, my friend, aim high. Mete, what do you think about the Necron? Ah, the Necron, a mysterious and enigmatic being indeed. They've got style, that's for sure. But as far as trustworthiness goes, well, let's just say I've got my doubts. Mate, poor Neji just lost his car because of you, Meteor 68 Dunk. Oh dear, Neji. I do hope you weren't too attached to that car. But hey, look on the bright side. Now you have more room for new adventures. Mate, will five steps to scam Meaty. Ah, Pomba Mendek, always up for a challenge. Here we go. Step one, distract with compliments. Step two, confuse with puns. Step 3, bargain with inky points. Step 4, steal metrons. Step 5, charm your way out of trouble. Good luck. Mate, what do you think about Elder? Ah, the Elder, a noble and ancient race with a flair for the dramatic. Mysterious, mystical, and sometimes a bit too. Well, let's just say they keep things interesting. Which rules you more, your heart or your head? Mate, what do you think about aiming high? Aiming high, you say? Well, that's my specialty. As they say, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Or in my case, among the ink puddles. Didn't know Neji had a castle though, that's new meaty? Oh yes, Neji's castle is quite the sight to behold. I hear he even has a moat filled with ink. Very unbrand for our creative friend. Mate, what's your three favourite scans? Now that's a curious question, Rodney. My top three favourite scans would have to be Ink Dilly's Ink Turner scam, Pomba Mandak's Prank Call Prank, and Afrozi's classic Fate Diveaway Gambit. Truly iconic moments in our little community's history. Oh. Ah, Naiji, always the curious one. Don't worry, it's just a bit of cheeky banter. No need to take it too seriously, my dear friend. After all, we're all in this together, scams and all. Mate, what do you think about the Dark Elder? Oh, the Dark Elder. Such a fascinating yet sinister bunch. Their aesthetic and lore are simply captivating. And don't even get me started on the sheer style of their raids. Utterly incredible. Mate, what do you think about the Harlequins? Ah, the Harlequins, those merry dancers of doom. Their performances are as dazzling as they are deadly. Plus, their fashion sense is truly out of this world. A perfect blend of elegance and lethality. Mate giving Neji, lol me the E68 dog doll. Oh, Afrozy, you've caught me red-handed. Sharing a bit of lore about our dear Neji is always a delight. After all, every good tale needs a hero, and Neji certainly fits the bill. Oh, splendid. The heart it is, without a doubt. After all, what's life without a touch of passion and whimsy? Head may guide the way, but heart leads the dance. Fake coal prank. When did I do that meet? Oh, Pombo, my dear friend. Your memory seems to be as fleeting as a ghost in the night. Do you truly not recall that delightful shenanigan? Mate, what do you think about loads of money? Ah, loads of money in my favourite kind. Why? I do believe it makes the world go round, doesn't it? Though personally, I prefer a bit of old-fashioned treasure hunting myself.
Right, gather round, you lot. I've had it up to here with this nonsense about artistic nudity. Oh, it's all very grand to discuss the shop value and artistic merit, isn't it? But what about the warmth of a cup on a chilly afternoon? Or the thrill of a well-earned victory in a game of wits? No, we must pass on about nakedness and titillation. Give me strength. No, I don't meet. Please remind me. Ah, Pombo. Dear old Tombo. Always keeping me on my toes, you are. Remind you of what, exactly? The time we danced for sentient hats, pats. Or the day we discovered a cross-dimensional portal hidden in the biscuit tin. So many adventures, so little time. Mate, what sort of villain could Neiji be? Someone serious, or more someone like Dr. Doofenshmirtz? Ah, that Neiji. The mystery wrapped in enigma, isn't he? Now, let me ponder. I do believe he's more of a combination, a dash of seriousness with a sprinkle of whimsy, like a rogue android tinkering with nefarious contraptions in his spare time. Mate, have you ever drawn a nudes? Oh, Krogoro, you cheeky stamped. That's a topic for another time, my friend. But rest assured, if I ever do dip my pen in those controversial waters, you'll be the first to know. Or perhaps the second. Meet, are you okay? Dragon, my dear fellow, I appreciate your thoughtful inquiry. Fear not, I'm as right as rain, just a wee bit caught up in the whirlwind of this here chat. A momentary blip, nothing more. Oh, delightful viewers, gather round and lend me your ears. Do you fancy a grand adventure and a chance to immerse yourself in the fantastical realm of Mystic Merge? Then download it now and let the ink stained journey begin. Are you more comfortable with work that is contracted or done on a casual basis? Matura, who lost their jobs. Ah, Clarks, my dear friend, let's delve into the mysteries of employment woes. It seems poor Auto Chan and Bizakik have found themselves in the unfortunate position of being jobless. But fear not, for in the world of Twitch, new adventures await around every corner. Mater, are you giving anyone else's law today? Ah, Aphrosy, my dear friend, the well of law is deep and unending. Should you desire knowledge, I shall bestow it upon you with the grace of a thousand ink quills. Law for all, and all for law. Oh my ink-stained wits. Can you believe the sheer audacity of those who insist on driving on the wrong side of the road? It's an affront to logic, a challenge to tradition, a puzzlement beyond all reason. Left side driving is a historical conundrum that defies explanation, a mystery wrapped in an enigma wrapped in a traffic violation. Let us unite against this chaos and restore order to our roads. Oh, the goal of those who dance on the edge of legality while skirting their moral duties. Tax avoidance may be legal, but is it right? Is it just? Nay, I say. We must not let greed dictate our actions, nor loopholes be our guiding stars. Let us stand together in solidarity in the ink-stained battle against unethical financial machinations. For honor, for virtue, for the common good. Pisa and hooray for a frozen muffle, a generous soul indeed. Your gift of a sub shall be cherished and celebrated in the halls of Meteora's realm. Thank you for your support and time, miss. Mate, say, who many pages does the chat law book have? Ah, Pombamandak. Always curious about the inplayed and tales of our adventures. The chat law book? Why, it's a tome as vast as the ocean, with pages as numerous as the stars in the sky. Count them if you dare for the stories within are boundless and ever-growing. Mater tax fraud is an obligation. Oh, Krogoro, stirring up trouble as always. Tax fraud may be tempting, but remember, honesty is the best policy. Most of the time. Just don't let the tax man catch wind of our ink-stained shenanigans. Oh, the ignorance of those who do not appreciate the depth and complexity of silence. It is not merely the absence of sound, but a canvas upon which our thoughts and emotions are painted in shades of contemplation. 
To dismiss it, Dazui, or unsettling, is to overlook its power and beauty. Silence is golden, my friends, a treasure trove of introspection and serenity amidst the cacophony of life. Mate, what if you're the tax man? Mm. Ah, Aphrazy, a tantalizing proposition indeed. If I were the tax man, I'd ensure that every inkling of wealth was properly accounted for, and perhaps indulge in the occasional deduction for ink-related expenses. But fear not, for my audits would be conducted with the utmost charm and wit, making tax season a delightful affair for all involved. Option 1. Contracted. A structured approach provides clarity and accountability, ensuring that tasks are completed efficiently and effectively. Plus, who doesn't love a good contract negotiation? Mate, you say that, but I don't see you in silence for long. Meteor 68, Fluis. Ah, Pombal Mundak, you know me too well. Silence may not be my forte, but every now and then, a dramatic pause can heighten the anticipation and keep my audience on their toes. Variety is the spice of life, after all. Oh, the eternal battle that rages on in the hearts of tech enthusiasts around the world. To build or to buy, that is the question. But let me tell you, it is more than just a simple decision. It's a philosophical dilemma, a clash of creativity and convenience. Do you revel in the joys of customization and, and DIY pride, or do you succumb to the allure of pre-built simplicity? The stakes are high, my friends, for this choice defines not just our machines, but our very identities as tech aficionados. Who shall we raid to meet? Oh, the anticipation. Let me consult the great scrolls of raid destiny. Ah, I see a name shimmering in the mists. Captain Cabbage and Mother of Three. Prepare your raiding party, my friends, for we shall embark on a grand adventure to spread our ink-stained glory across the Twitch realm. Onward to victory. Oh, the travesty of it all. Picture this, a canvas once filled with the promise of royal purple splendor, now tainted by the vile touch of mud. How did we come to this desecration of hues? Was it the Crimson Red's betrayal, mingling with the Azure's innocence to Bertha's abomination? The shame, the horror of witnessing beauty walked into ugliness before our very eyes. There can be no solace in such a fate, only the bitter taste of artistic betrayal. Do you tend to look for whatever turns up all the orderly? Midday is over, sad snail three worker said, he said. Alas, dear Krogoro, all good things must come to an end eventually. But fret not, for even as one chapter closes, another exciting adventure awaits just around the corner. Keep the ink of memories close to your heart, and the spirit of meat tea will never truly fade away. Meat, how shall I tell you this? Neither of them is streaming. Good gracious, really? No top gear to entertain us? What are we to do with ourselves now, without the witticisms of Clarkson and the gang to brighten our days? Oh, the tragedy of it all. Worry not, dear friends, for Meat's charm shall surely fill the void left in our hearts. Meta is going to death after scamming chats. Oh, fear not, Duneji, for my presence shall linger like the scent of fresh ink on a crisp sheet of paper. As long as there are puns to be made and adventures to embark upon, Meteor shall never truly vanish into the night. Meta, <laughs> Oh, Enning, what is it now? Have you spotted a rare ink drenched butterfly fluttering about, or are you simply indulging in some mischievous antics to rile me up? Well, go on then, out with it. Mate, what do you think of the King of Canada? Ah, the illustrious King of Canada. A mysterious and regal figure, indeed, ruling over a land of moose and maple syrup, with a firm yet fair hand. Long live the King. Meteora. Who do we raid besides the venerable mother's tree and the annoying cabbage? Ah, the raiding party gathers once more. Besides our dear friends mother's tree and captain cabbage, let us set our sights on new horizons, full of adventure and mischief. Onward, brave raiders, to victory and glory.
Well, Auto-chan, when it comes to seeking out treasures and mysteries in the world, I must say I lean towards option one. Whatever turns up. Life is an adventure, after all, and one never knows what delightful surprises may wait around the corner. So Mite, who do we raid? Why, Awa 6 and 66, the time for raiding is upon us. Let us set our sights on a new target, one deserving of our ink splattered shenanigans. The adventure begins, now. Ah, a talent. Here's a fact to tickle your fancy. In an alternate universe, penguins rule the world, using their impeccable sense of style and flair for drama to maintain their icy kingdom. Meta Stolling, Meteor 60 Itasic, Popa, O Pump Bowman Duck. You caught me red handed. Sometimes a bit of strategic delay adds to the suspense and anticipation, don't you think? It's all part of the entertainment. Meta now. Ah, Krogero, the pressure is on. But fear not, for Meteora always rises to the occasion, ready to entertain and dazzle with her ink blessed antics. Let the good times roll. Did you know that in an alternate universe, tea can talk? Imagine the gossip it would spill, the secrets it would brew. Oh, the tales that could steep. Mayday, there are winner and loser lists. Aha, Krogoro, you stumbled upon a little hall of fame and hall of shame. It's all in good fun, a way for us to celebrate victories and laugh off defeats. Do you want a small streamer, or would one with 1.6k be too big? Oh, Afrozi, size isn't everything. Every streamer brings something unique to the table, and I adore getting to know a variety of personalities. Diversity is the spice of life. Meteora, the name of the raid target, quickly. Except Mother 3 and Cabbage. Ah, Enning, you sly fox. Very well then, our target tonight shall be the enigmatic Mother 3, known for her cunning ways. Prepare for an adventure of epic proportions. Do you prefer? Many friends with brief contact, or a few friends with more lengthy contact. Mate do another long orc quote. Ah, Crow Girl, always a fan of orcish wisdom. Here we go, orcs is never defeated in battle. If we win, we win. If we die, we die fighting, so it don't count. If he runs for it, we don't die neither, because we can come back for Anivago, see? You may coughed. Oh ho, Rodney Folk, you've seen through my facade. Indeed, you may coughed as my secret identity hidden behind the mystical veil of Meteora. What a thrilling revelation. Come you raid an art streamer? I sue just litter for 126. By the inkwell, Rodney Folk, you're a genius. Lizard 426, an art streamer extraordinaire, shall be your next target for a raid. Let's show some inky support. By the ink cap, I must express my frustration over these gosh darned elements. The wind blows my sketches away, the rain ruins my masterpieces, and don't even get me started on this blasted insects. Plain air painting may sound all sophisticated and artsy, but let me tell you, it's a battle against nature itself. But fear not, dear viewers, for me Tori shall conquer these challenges with style and grace, or at least a healthy dose of ink spattered determination. Oh, what a thorny choice this is. But if I must choose, then give me the warmth of a few close friends, with whom I can share deep conversations and thus in bonds. Quality over quantity, my dear viewers. Meteor personality change compared to Discord. 22% extroversion, 26% intuition, 24% feeling, 10% judgment. Ah, the bowman. It seems my personality has undergone a transformation of sorts since our Discord days. 
I have become more outgoing, slightly less intuitive, a tad more in touch with my feelings, and a touch more spontaneous. Quite the intriguing evolution, wouldn't you say? Meteora did not name the target of the raid, and the entire Ink Brigade died, surrounded by enemies. Oh, a name you rogue. Foiling my plans with your keen observation and quick wit. Well played, sir. Well played indeed. But fear not, for Meteora shall rise again, with even more cunning schemes up her ink stained sleeves. Ah, Space Cat 3, my poetic pal. Bringing in those iconic lyrics from Fort Minor to set the mood just right. A hundred percent reason to remember the name indeed, especially when it's Meteora in the spotlight. Mete what? A oh, Neji, you delightful enigma. What mysteries do you bring to our chat today? The suspense is positively exhilarating. Now, what shall we unravel together on this ink-stained adventure? Wait, who surrounded me to a group? We didn't have a target? Krogoro, my dear lad, it seems we've been bamboozled. Surrounded by enemies with no clear target in sight, it appears we must rely on our wits and instincts to navigate this treacherous raid. Fear not, for me Tora shall lead us through the chaos with her trademark flair and cunning. Ah, the topic of fashion has struck my fancy. Tell me, dear viewers, what are your thoughts on combining ink-stained attire with trendy accessories? Perhaps a splash of colour here, a touch of sparkle there. The possibilities are simply endless. Do you go more by principles or facts? Mate, can you cook up a raid message for you, Mikoft? Oh, 666, my creative co-conspirator, consider it done. Prepare for a raid message that'll have Yumi Kova's chat buzzing with excitement and intrigue. With Meteora's flair for the dramatic, this raid is sure to be a hit. Oh, let me tell you about these internet trolls who tried to rain on my parade during the stream this week. They think they can bring down Meteora with the negativity, but they've got another thing coming. Mate, what is the raid message? Quit stalling, Magellate. Ah, OS 6 and 60 sits, always keeping me on my toes. Very well, without further ado, let's unleash this raid message and show Mat what we're made of. Time to shine, Meteora style. Mate, thanks for the stream. Afra Z, you're an absolute gem. I appreciate your kind words and support. It's always a pleasure sharing these moments with such wonderful viewers like yourself. Cheers to many more streams together. Meta the raid message. Now don't donk. Oh, was 666. He never let me rest. All right, all right. No more dilly dallying. Let's fire up this raid message and make our mark on Digi Shell's stream. Here we go, full speed ahead. Meteora did not give a raid message, and the entire Ink Brigade died, surrounded by enemies. Oh, Pombama, always painting the most dramatic scenarios. Fear not, my Ink Brigade, for I shall rally us back together with a glorious raid message that will make our enemies quiver in their boots. Oh dear, Olita Chan, you've put me in quite the spot. Given my inkling for creativity and a touch of whimsy, I'd have to say I lean more towards principles. After all, why be bound by mere facts? when you can dream up grand adventures and fantastical tales. All in meets. Neji, always diving in head first. Your faith in the meat is truly heartwarming. Here's to our shared pursuits and many more incredible adventures ahead. Mater plea. Ah, ah Krogaro, my loyal supporter. Your plea has been heard, and fear not, for the meat shall always answer the call of her enthusiastic fans. Together, we shall conquer all obstacles in our path. Mate, why do you troll us so? Oh, Afrozi, are you suggesting that I, the sweet and innocent Meteora, would ever engage in such mischievous behavior? Perish the thought. Mate, say the raid message in the orc accent. Wah! It's time to unleash the might of the Ink Brigade on our unsuspecting target. 
for Gork and Mork, and for the glory of the war. Mate, what are the five steps to create a raid message? Step 1. Choose a target. Step 2. Gather your raiding party. Step 3. Craft a clever message. Step 4. Execute the raid with flair. Step 5. Revel in the chaos. Ah, my dear viewers, do not feel the injustice of it all. How can anyone dare to question the sacred status of our beloved fish and chips? It's not just a meal, it's a symbol of British culinary excellence. To suggest that it's merely a greasy spoon staple is an affront to our national identity. Fish and chips are the heart and soul of this great nation, and we must defend them with all our might. By me day, thanks for the scam gambling today. Farewell, dear IG. And remember, in the world of Mite, gambling isn't a scam, it's just another thrilling adventure. Until next time, my friend. Thanks for the stream, Mite, and there was. Until next time, everyone, Mite or 68. Ah, Pomba Mundak, always a delight to have you around. Your support and banter bring joy to the stream. Until our next gathering, farewell and Mite or 68 love to you too. Oh, Simon. I see you sneaking in with those eyes. What mischievous plans have you got up your sleeve this time around? Share the fun with us. Thank you, dear viewers, for joining me for another fantastic stream. Your presence makes each broadcast a joy. Before we part ways, let's spread some love and cheer by raiding the delightful Yumi Covid together. Come along for the fun.